Mm. Back to the game. So you yeah, your your eyes voice, begin to fill with blood, but Lucian's aura like protects you. And then it's uh, Lucian's go. Lucian, keeper of the all important aura. Uh, I run up to a door, denying everyone my aura. Um, no. For John and Dank, does, it look like, does it look like there's any way of opening it? It's not a door. It's a barricade. It's like a, a deliberately designed, made like barricade to stop people moving on. Does it look like it's something I'm going to need to destroy? Or yes, you, it looks like that you, you'd have to break it down. Effectively, it's like held together by uh by rope and cord, and like they're just chunks. Okay, yeah. I shall attempt to bash the shit out of it then. That's uh, that's a good thing to try. Uh, Twelve misses, like you don't get a solid hit on it; it bounces off. That hits though uh, for eight. <laughs> okay. That's kind of pathetic. Oh, is that is that you? Okay, yeah, that was pretty yeah. pretty pathetic. It's a lot less than a <laughs> Vladdy cantrip. Uh, Uncle Joe. Uh, I am just responding to the chat <laughs> and dragging your name through the mud. Um, Joe is going to move. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Joe's going to move up behind Lucian and sort of go, hmm, looks like a wall. Skeletons, skeletons move up as well, just, you know, crowd round. Oh, yeah, it's not like I want to get there and smash it, like, carry on. Fine, skeletons don't stand too close to the fucking wall. <laughs> Captain Poopy Pants needs to have his wall time. Um, and Joe is going to um, powered kill Dent. <laughs> How dare you talk to me? Soon, soon. Uh, no, he's got a wall of force in front of the wall just to fuck with everyone. Like, I'm sure this is breaking. Early. Why is it not working? Now? Um, he doesn't have any movement left, so he's got, gonna chill touch the wall again. Hey, it's a good, good attack roll. Yeah, good attack roll. Uh, the wall looks very badly uh, damaged by this stage. It's coming apart in places, uh, but it's still standing. Cool, cool, cool. Vladimir. Yeah, I'm done. Still standing. Du, 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 du. Yeah, let's all sing Elton John songs. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm for that. I'm just going to move I'll, your skeletons I'll, a little I'll because fire, one of them is basically... I'll fireball the, uh, the barricade again. Huzzah! Yes, with that one, the barricade like breaks apart. Uh, it kind of all falls backwards with a smashing crunch. And it is destroyed. And you can see beyond... The corridor continues on, more spikes and like uh, bits of uh, debris on the ground. Uh, you also see Fucking spikes. Free, uh, free sca uh, scarecrows are standing, uh, but they're clearly animated. They have like sharp claws ready to fight. And further on, still another barricade. I mean, currently we see nothing. Yeah. Oh, oh yes, I, I destroyed the uh, the token, but I forgot to remove the dynamic layer. So those are what we will see now. <sighs> It's exactly yeah, as I'll the go. fates did. Dank, you can go now. Uh, I will squeeze past. Double I'm movement. Sure, glad I left that space clear so Dank could attack the wall. <laughs> uh, okay, you've moved 15. I love you too, Joe. Actually, you've um, moved 20 feet. Yeah. And... Uh, 25. Yeah, sure. I'll just go as far as I can. Boom. I'm thinking fireball. Yes, I know. I know. I know what to do in this circumstance. Yeah, I'll build a little fire, scarecrow. <laughs> okay, I'll put an extra bit of juice in. Fourth level fireball. Biff. Damn. And I will empowered spell. Do I bother empowered spelling? I'll re-roll those two ones. Yeah, it's two for ones. For fun. Get rid of those. Get rid of them ones. Dank Last doesn't time. have ones in his spells. What's going oh, on? That's still has one oh my god, oh, he does. <gasps> so five more, so that's yeah. 39. Three. Alright, two of them pass. One of them, because of the empowerment, explodes. Like, poof, just turns to ash. Totally uh, worth gone. it. Uh, and, let's see, half of... What, what did it end up being? Uh, 39, so... Half of 39 yeah. is... 19. 19. 19. 19. Ah, yeah, you see two of them are, are badly, badly damaged by this explosion. And one of them is just blown away. 
<laughs> anything else, Dink? Uh, no, that'll be my go. My go. Okay. Uh, behind you, spikes. Spikes. Spikes, which are not the denominating layer. Why did I do that? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Boom. They slam <laughs> shut behind you. Uh, that was actually catching up relatively quickly. <gasps> okay, I'll need to roll initiative for the skeletons, actually. Because I haven't done that yet. Scarecrows. Scarecrows. Scarecrows, thank you. Scarecrows. Scarecrows roll initiative. Uh, they don't do very well. Uh, I don't have to reorder anything. Uh, okay. Or would, would, they, uh, actually, would they go... Uh, no, I said the spike. Oh, God, the I should have done that earlier. They are... Yeah. Uh, it's they're, they're holding an action to strike anyone who gets too close. Okay, cool. That's what they've been doing like their entire existence. Uh, so, oh. Salt Lord. So uh, I move through about here. I stop by Lucian to pick up my dagger that I so <laughs> unfortunately m missed with. Yeah, you can do that as a bonus action. Just like scoop down, pick up some glass with it. The bonus is like like a free action is like a bonus action uh, I don't know a uh, bonus action or you can lose 10 feet of movement mm, but uh, I'll just do it as a bonus action I'm not going to sign I have to save my spell slot so I move to that okay you move forwards watching your footing on all these like bits of spikes and glass and uh, I ignore the guys to try to sacred flame the barricade. Okay. Make a deck save in element object. Uh, it just automatically fails. <laughs> like, it can't dodge, so. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. So you begin to burn it with, like, sacred energy. Mm -hmm. You hear anti flesh oh. uh, go, <sighs> let's see. Who stepped away from that troublesome paladin? And, uh, it's me! It's me! Vladimir. Hello. Oh. Uh, oh, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Vladimir, <laughs> <laughs> she's not going to target you because... Because <laughs> you swore at me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you're, you feel your veins begin to rupture. Like, it's just suddenly your heart picks up speed, and you need to pass this con save, or blood's going to start pouring out of you. I, I did. I, 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 don't, I don't say it. It's a bomb. He, oh, he you already did it. Okay. That's why I said no fucking... Everyone knows oh. that Matt oh. can't look up. It's true, I can. <laughs> <laughs> or possibly I was looking at the character sheet to press the ability. Uh, Alright, yeah, so... It doesn't, matter, you can't, it doesn't count as looking up if you roll over. Yeah, you, you like, uh, you hold your wrist, you, for a moment you feel like your blood pumping, it feels like your very veins are going to pop, but you just, like, grit your teeth and push through. Uh, this is a group that is very good at con saves, apart from one guy who rolled very well. Uh, <laughs> Lucian? <laughs> uh, I'll move up. I'm like looking at this going, hmm, it's almost like con saves are super important to like everyone in 5th edition. Especially yeah. classes. And yet Joe's still a pretty shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he rolled I'll well. See. I'd have loved to have yeah. filled his mouth with blood. Well, there's a lot of things you'd love to fill his mouth with. Yes, the scarecrows swing their scary scarecrow claws at you. Uh, what's it? Scary scarecrows. Scary scarecrows. One. Two. Wow. Okay. One well, of them yeah. actually rolled pretty well. Uh, actually hit. Uh, yeah, Surprise! Hit. This, I also do this. I teleport and I hit it as a reaction. Alright, there's a wall of text. It tells me that you can do that. I assume somewhere in there. <laughs> I'm not going yeah. to read it. Uh, <laughs> uh, cool, so you take a little damage, Lucian, as you get scratched. Yeah. And then, surprise, Mountain's uh, Heart! Uh, yep, yeah, you mm -hmm. crash your thing into it. It takes plus f uh, with the force damage that will kill it. So cool. uh, I'll slay the other one then. Uh, hit for eight, crit for another uh, eleven. Yeah, you killed the other one then. Poof, poof. They both go down. You also took uh, minus four from that damage. You 
Lucian. Okay. I mean, to be honest, his health bar didn't even move, so I couldn't tell if he took damage or not. <laughs> so that was one damage. <laughs> I'm never jamming this particular team ever again. This is just I mean, this is just ridiculous. I mean, I mean, your scarecrow dealt five damage. That's, it's true. Uh, he did. He did. He did well. He was just supposed to stand I, there. I don't and look think scary. that's Lucian's fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, the um. The even skeletons. A... I've I've done this number of times. Uh, how many of them can get into the bag with my bonus action commanding them to quickly get in the bag before he buggers off? If you stand completely still and let them all pile in, um, one, two, three, four, how many are there? There eight, nine. nine? Uh, roll, yeah. You can roll two d eight, and that's so many will get in the bag. If I remain completely still, what if I use my action to dash quotation marks and actually have a movement afterwards? Because you can uh, hold an action to dash. But would I take pain from that? Yes. Using. Yes, you would. Um, take pain. Well, the thing is, like, you can't, like... Remember, this. you don't, like, move and stop. That's not, like, what's actually happening. Everyone's kind of moving constantly. So you can't, like, be moving and then, like, ru like running along the side you and jumping well, in. You'd have to, like, stop, open move. the bag, and, like, let them crawl in. So you'd have to basically be I stationary. Will move through them to get to there so it's 5 15 move around them so I'm kind of the same ish distance from most of them and then would you allow me 2 d8s or if I stop there say no no you've got to like basically just stay still on your turn and hold the bag open and that they'll be able to like pour in no for 2 d8s with a fuck it you know what I'm just going to move yeah yeah because why not I just don't think you can, like, jog along and they can jog alongside you and throw themselves into this, like, very, like, narrow opening. Skeletons have already been commanded to follow Joe, so they're going to do they just that. Wandering along. And that'll be the end of... Oh, wait, no, I'm going to attack the barrier. Cool. Uh, they attack... can't move in a straight line because there's this in the way. So they'd have to move okay. up five... So they they'd be further. Oh, back. they can't move diagonally. They can't move diagonally. No, that's it's going right through that spit. Okay, then everything's moving too fast for Matt down there. Then uh, yeah, if, if that adds up. Oh, there we go. Don't know what all weirdly on the thing. Uh, and then Joe is gonna chill touch the ball. All right. Chill touch. You hit it. Deal nine damage to it. That's the end of his turn. Oh, I don't think I did um, the fireball damage to the wall. How much was the fireball damage again? 39? Uh, 39, yeah. Okay. 39. Imagine the wall's looking a bit rough now. Yeah, the, the, that fireball definitely like sh uh, shook the whole thing up. Did it shake it all night long? It's looking pretty rough. It's looking pretty rough. It's definitely bloodied. <laughs> yeah, and I have like an hour sticking out of the shoulder. Though I imagine the walls in this place would be bloody. Probably. It started out bloody. <laughs> I can't oh. actually. What the fuck? I think I'm gonna have to reload for a second. I can't actually move anything or anything. No! Yeah. Oh shit, we lost the bloody. Good. <laughs> if I can't kill you, yeah, roll 20 cool. will. <laughs> roll 20 has tried before. It's failed. <laughs> Many so, times. In the meantime, let, so, in the meantime, let me ask you, man. How do you feel role playing for, like, running a game for characters with, like, four of us having very high concepts? Um. It's just. It's not as bad as the time I, I had to, like, fight you the, during the Abolith fight and everybody had really good wisdom saves and like everything I seem to have attacked wisdom it's like I mean there's no point in doing any of this that got a little frustrating mm. the con saves is only like there's only like one ability here I'm using that targets con and it's a relatively high yeah. DC at least like 16 is at least like failable yeah, I mean, rule one of fifth edition is never target con yeah just whatever you do don't do anything in a targets con because Pretty much always. Fails. I mean, a lot, a lot of things don't get proficiency to their con saves. Yeah, but know? it's so easy to get proficiency, and if you're a caster, it's usually worth it. 
Yeah, um, but I know not everyone builds them with like resilient uh, con. I mean, that is true. Not everyone goes for that. Vladimir originally went for Warcast. Yeah, originally went for Warcast. And now, I, yeah, I later got rid of it. All right, I I can actually move again, so I assume it's it's my turn. Yes. Yeah, you can't go diagonally there though. Yeah. Um, I might just dash. No. Dash. 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 Because I'm, otherwise I'll just continue to be all the way in the back all the time, and 2d4 doesn't sound that bad. It's a 2d4 for every five foot you go. Wow. Yeah. I mean, but you've got your I'll just... Up. That'll be one one damage roll, so it won't be... Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll, I'll just move there, levels. so with my dash, so that's, uh, that's 2d4 damage. Okay, so you just move an extra five feet. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right, your feet get... Four damage of uh, John McLean damage, and then it, it is uh, yeah, Denks go. I will hit the wall. You run up and you hit the wall. Yeah, uh, booming blade. I will actually pull out my uh, maul for this. Squidge. All right. Uh, yeah, you slam into booming it. Blade. You deal eighteen damage. All right, it doesn't seem to want to move away. Oh, wait, she is it 18 or is it... Is that the move away 18. damage? Okay, cool. No, no, that's not the move away damage. I haven't added it to this one. I'll hardly cool, ever cool. use it. Yeah, uh, just taking. There are no scarecrows. Spikes are going to continue to burst out of the walls. You slowly kind of overtake them. That's how much damage they could have done. Uh, and then it is ah, Salt yes. Lords. Go. Uh, sacred Flaming, the barrier again. Okay. Yep. Yeah, uh, hits. Uh, that one breaks the barrier apart. It was very badly damaged after the mall. So you uh, you bash the barrier as hard as you... With, a dank bash as hard as it can. It shudders. And you burn away the last of its kind of like... Tendrils of Can you flesh just let us through? Place. You see that uh, your spikes are not catching us up. <laughs> oh. uh, no, because there's more skills. Can somebody shut up the healer? <laughs> what did you just soul call soul. me, Joe? <laughs> Do <healer>. not jump <laughs> me. Okay. Well, I, I, I did some weird uh, thing capture. No, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's my. I end with him, though. All right, you move up there. You can see these scale scarecrows are waiting with their claws out, like. <sighs> Uh, uh, anti flesh is kind of getting frustrated, so doesn't have any more witty banter, uh, and is going Aww. to target uh, Denk. Hello. Uh, could you make a con save as your mouth begins to fill with blood? I think Blech. even though he's in Lucian's aura, she really should target Uncle Joe because he's <laughs> definitely the one to kill. Uh, he's he half on Uncle Joe. Down. <laughs> uh, a target that successfully saves can't be affected by the hag's ability again. Yeah, exactly. hours. That's why she's oh. pinned. Mm. All right, uh, yeah. I mean, now she can start targeting the skeletons. Oh, I feel really bad about this. Yeah, well, <laughs> like, it feels like harm is especially ineffective against Joe. Ten. Call cool the blood ten. as well. The skeleton don't have much blood. Uh right. Cool. It doesn't specify that the creature has to have blood. No. You can create <laughs> blood in the mouth. Uh, Lucian, sure go. Uh, just drop out the, the target's of veins rupture. The skeletons <laughs> just kind of stand there like. Yeah, there, there's like uh, veins of moving through the bone that start to break apart. Uh, I can I can fluff this. <laughs> like bone, okay. bone marrow has some blood things in it. Like it creates blood. Uh, I put away my shield and uh, Eldritch Blast that one. Okay. I could target skeleton. That's weird. I hadn't even considered that. Uh, all right, you begin <laughs> Eldritch blasting. Pew pew. Uh, find it. Uh, hit, hit. Four eight. Cool. Yeah, you you uh, you damage one of these sca scarecrows. It hisses at you menacingly. Uh, Uncle Joe. Ah, uh, well. Again, I have the choice to stand still and get some skeletons in the bag. Skeletons. Nope! <laughs> Onwards, upwards! Thrusting, ever thrusting! <laughs> ever thrusting! Ever thrusting. 
Uh, yep. Yeah, so Joe's gonna move to there. That guy's gonna move to there. He's gonna move to there. Move to there. We're gonna just have a big old conga line of skellings. Um. Oh, for a lightning bolt. Joe's gonna use. Yeah, exactly. Oh damn. Joe's gonna use his bonus action to command the skeletons. Fire at the. Scarecrow Suddenly that boulder reappears yeah. and flies just, through all of uh, you. Just to make sure that Vladimir can't move anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Fireball seems like an attractive option here. That's what you get for dashing. Yeah. Poor I had to I mean, dash, dash because again. the skeletons were in the fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching these spikes behind you like fucking hell. I, is one of them still on top of Denk? Yeah. No. I'm in oh, oh yeah, there's a skeleton in it. I didn't realise that. So yeah, he'll move down to there. Uh, and shrug an apology. Um, yep, yeah, sure Joe's gonna say, shoot at the one, uh, the scarecrow directly in front of you. So there's gonna be four attacking that one, uh, uh, five attacking that one at the bottom, and four attacking that one at the top. Okay. With dubbos. Are they immune to physical damage in which case one no, probably they're they are they're simple constructs made of straw and wood and their AC is eleven. So and I'm not holding out a lot of hope for these two guys. Um Cool. So ten attacks against the one at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six hit. Okay. With no crits at all. That zero key sticky. 61 on the bottom uh, one. <laughs> like, it, they're just twigs. Twigs hit the ground. Um, and the arrows hit the wall behind it. And the top one. Uh, every <laughs> single fucking attack hits. Let's see if we can break 100, guys. Probably not, but... 82. Uh, he's just still up, but... Uh, no. It wasn't a bad damage roll. It was a, it was a good damn damage roll. Uh, yeah. It was a good attack roll, good damage roll. And then Joe's going to target the one that's left. With a chilly willy touch. He grabs its willy by the chilly. Alright, yeah. It takes uh, seven necrotic damage. Like, ah. And it can't regain hit points. Not that that matters. Um, uh, oh, it also has advantage on attack rolls against Joe if it's undead. Oh, you said it was a construct. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the end of Joe's turn. Uh, Vladimir, I can't move again, which obviously you can dash. No, no, I, no, no. As in roll twenty won't let me move again. It's oh, um, do you want to measure to where you want to go, and I'll move you, and then you can try and fix it again. I, ca I can't measure. Like I can't measure. I can't move my token. Okay, I just, so I fine. I could have sworn I saw you measuring, but um, like, maybe uh, it's I mean, not appearing on your it, screen, but it yeah, is on maybe, my maybe it's just on my screen, possibly. Uh, right. I'll just everybody dash but Vlad measure so as Joe's little as possible. Is that Vlad measuring or is that That's me measuring? measuring. No, I'm yeah. reloading currently. So That's did everyone point. but Vlad measure and Matt said going, I will measure. <laughs> yeah, because right, I ignore you. Uh, so... Alright, yeah, I'm 15... Uh, 20... You can't move diagonally through there apparently. Yeah, you yeah 20... Things. Well, you can move diagonally there. 30... And then move through. Get 30 uh, to on top of 50. Oh, I have to go there and I take 2d4 twice. And I swear if your skeletons block my way again, I will recast my spirit guardians and not designate them. <laughs> if they block my way one time, I will destroy them. <laughs> it's the other option. Well, right. I think they're higher than 2 now. Uh, they're then really designated, but yeah. They're, they're not like, normal skeletons. If you no. guys keep threatening my skeletons, then I guess things will get bitter. But to be honest, I don't see where you're all being dicks for. Remember who does your drinks, gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, and you, you go, you take seven seven foot damage. And then it's uh, Dink's go. Uh, Dink's going to move over here. Uh, this barrier here is like, just made out of wood again. Yeah, uh, oh, there is no barrier there, sorry. Uh, as you get closer, you see there isn't a barrier there. That's just the, the actual brick wall. There is a door here. Okay. Uh, uh, it looks like a sturdy sort of wooden door. Okay, we've got a bit of time then. I will veto 
that move there <laughs> and go there and whack this little dude Biff for 18 18 yeah that definitely hits uh, you you hurt it quite badly cool it's like meh, meh, meh. fuck you I'll claw your <laughs> face it says Oh, it's cute can we have it for the tavern please Joe of course ah how's some of that <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gently caresses you with its claws completely ineffectually. Uh, behind you, oh. spikes. You spike things. And then it's uh, the Salt Lords go. Spikes. Oh, that's a pretty poor roll. Salt Lord? Yeah. Can I move there? Yeah, you can move there. Uh, what's that? Is that a door? Yeah, that's the the door there. I can't quite get to it. it, it how much the game is it asked, can I open the door freely, or do I need to use an action to get to it? To open uh, it I... It's normally done as part of your movement, I think, isn't it? Or, uh, you do have a bonus action. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the dash action to move, like, then to open the door as a bonus. Okay, so you move up to the door. Uh, you take some sore foot damage, 4d4. Yep. Uh, you grab the door handle. Uh, could you make a dexterity saving throw for me? Oh, no. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, I, have <laughs> I have to do this. I have to do Like, come on. Oh, damn. Do I need to make a dex save? Uh, I don't think so. I'm just checking the range on this. Uh, let me just... Vlad... I'm out of a ten foot. Uh, Vlad fails at uh, pretending to be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, God. uh, fifteen, I'm in. What's, uh... Do the thing. There we go. Glyph of Warding... Uh... So, it's an explosive rune erupts in a twenty foot radius mm -hmm. sphere. Uh, each yeah, creature in it will take. Well. You're going to take five d eight acid damage. That's acid mm. seems nice and haggy. <laughs> or half as much on a. That's you know, yeah, not. Uh, uh, half of that would be ten. So there's a chance ten. the skeleton might survive. I'm, I'm going to ping it just so I can read it. I'll do that as my reaction. Oh, skeleton passes. It was a, actually, does it? What's what's it would be done by anti flesh? So. Uh, passes. So it takes Ooh. a bunch of acid damage. Ah, it burns. Mm. How did John I only do? Take ten. Oh, John passed. So okay, so John takes half. Uh, Denk takes the full. 21. I uh, absorbed elements. Ah, uh, okay. So you suck up the elements. But yeah, it bursts, and then you turn the handle, and it's locked. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Has anybody got thieves tools? <laughs> I have thieves tools, actually. I still keep the one. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. Anti Flesh goes, You are all very resilient. And it's going to target the last person she can target, which is Lucian. Uh, this one's going to work, I bet. I, I fucking hope so. Uh, <laughs> it's going to roll there. Oh, yeah, he called it. Nice. Oh. Ruptured arteries. Um, so, yeah, your your arms like suddenly swell and blood begins to pour out of your armor. You take. Uh, Eight damage. Well, that's uh, Lucian dead. Yeah, that's definitely enough to kill Lucian. <laughs> Does he even notice it? Is he just walking along like, oh, arm is chafing a little bit? You just think like some of the blood you didn't manage to clean out is pouring out. But yeah, you take eight damage and you've got to repeat the save at the end of your turn. It's like all the blood he like the blood he drank from the pool now comes out of his veins because it's yeah. like really fucking Not like really that. your own blood. There's been a lot of blood in this episode. It's a, it's it's uh it's fitting. 
It's kind of like when Bloodborne came out and it was like, oh, everything about souls now, it's blood now. Mm. Uh, right. Lucian? I shall walk forwards. Mildly miffed. Oh, He's miffed. Did, did you deliberately get an attack of opportunity from the... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Like, fuck you, I look mean, at my AC. I can't, I, I've used my reaction, I can't do that. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh well. It's what you get. <laughs> Have ten so more damage. You could be frightened. Got uh, us a fate. Um. <laughs> that is six, uh, because of my ages. Yeah. Yeah. And I shall summon my packed weapon, which will be a great sword. Okay. A giant black great sword smoke that's smoking like no one's business. All right. Mocking. You summon your pack weapon. Uh, Uncle Joe? Uh, what to do with sorty Vladdy there? <laughs> Block him in the skeletons! <laughs> skeletons! Finish off that last straw-filled guy and then leave enough room for little Vladdy to stand near the door. We have to help out our healer! I think you're confusing Vladimir with John. Like, John is the salty one. <laughs> he's the Don't healer. make me shoot you. I uh, don't. see how many of these hit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, 11, 12, and 1 crit. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's already dead. <laughs> oh my god, it's dead like three times over. <laughs> the skeleton's gonna move here, here, here. Here and yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, actually, can he move there? No, he couldn't. Whatever, they they move. They move it up. They move all the way like that. So there's nice big lump of room there for what's his face. And Joe's gonna move to here, and he's gonna chill touch uh, the Salt Lord. I mean, the door near Salt Lord. <laughs> All right, yeah, that hits. Uh, you see the door like necro gets a little like necrosis Door gets sad. It gets sad. sad. Door. It's a sad door now. Oh. Um, Vladimir. Um, I don't know. I move here. Uh. Once again, I'm pro I'm gonna have to relog, but I can. I think I can still use my character sheet, so I'll just finish my turn before then. Uh, I don't know. I got nothing. I'll just toss myself a cure wounds. Pretty much all I can do. Yeah. Okay. Right. Should top me up. Ah, oh, doesn't. Dank. Uh. Dink, we'll go over to the door, cast knock, bash. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Glass knock. I, I actually thought you were going to cast knock. Um, no. no, you you actually you, you hit it, but you're it's just a glancing blow. Like You don't actually get any impact behind it. Get out of the way, so Lord, I'm trying to hit the door down. Um, that will be my go. <laughs> I like now in character, someone's got Salt Lord. Uh, the Scarecrows are all very dead. Spikes, do stuff, and then the Salt Lord goes. Oh, I should oh. have made another save. Oh, yes, can you do another save for me? Spikes. Alright, cool. You, you close your veins with force of will. <laughs> uh, I move out of the way. No damage. Wow. I move out of the way. <laughs> Uh, Move, bitch! Get out the and, and then I guess uh, I'm going to heal myself a bit. Cool. Um, Auntie Flesh goes, well, you're all very resilient. I'll see you You, said, you that. said that same line before. You're not the out of the No, no, no! Her accent has changed. Give her credit where it's due. Well, it's not you. Uh, fuck you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call blood a skeleton. I can't, I can't make myself do it. It doesn't make, a, it doesn't make a damn bit of sense. Uh, yeah, she's like, I'll see you soon. 
And wait, you could do it on the 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 face in Sparrow's bag. You, you can try doing this on me. Maybe I'll fail it. I can't. Oh, have I not done it to you yet? I thought I had. You've done it to me. I'm saying you can't try again. No, I, I can't do it more than once on a, a person. Once you pass, you've you've passed four. I will, I will allow you if you want to. You know, um... Fuck off, John. Uh, Lucian. <laughs> <laughs> it's so old now. It's not a phase, man. Right, anyway. Is it me? Mm-hmm. Uh, I will start bashing on this door with my greatsword. I assume that's alcohol. Yeah, I dropped that can earlier. <laughs> We're not good at hitting oh, doors, that... are we? The ah, 17 that's, that's hits. Uh... That should be doing... Yeah. How much extra? Uh... The, the... Actually, both of them are slightly wrong. Is What part of it is wrong? Is it the damage roll? Is uh, it the attack roll? The attack roll should be too high, and the damage roll should be too high. Okay, so you do 11 to it. Yeah. Your, I thought I got that. Yeah, <laughs> your, your, uh, your sword, like, the, the first one, like, digs in nice and deep into the wood, but the second one hits some, like, metal rimming that's around it, and uh, it squeeches off. Okay. Uh, Uncle Joe. Joe is going to command the skeletons with his bonus action. Wait, no, he's he's going to try his thing first. He's going to move up, stand in Lucian's space, and he's going to um, ring his mop out and give the door a good old one-two. A jolly good crashing. <laughs> give him a mop. good old rub. Ah, uh, suds to you. Ah, uh, that hits, yeah. <laughs> damage roll's not great. If the door moves, though, it takes an extra eight damage. Okay, I'll bear that in mind uh, for, for its, its falling action. Hey, if we open it... Hmm. Bonus action, he's going to tell the skeletons to move uh, around uh, and fire arrows at the door? <laughs> sure, it's resistant to piercing, but I don't think that'll make a huge difference. Uh, It might do, you never know. It might do, yeah. Damn it. Uh, it has an AC we of 17 as it's reinforced. A door getting shot of arrows, yeah. AC is 17. Cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. That's cool. 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 Uh, all the attacks. That's Fuck me. Long. You know, after hitting that scarecrow so many times, so that's five hits with one crit. I like how your macro is so long it doesn't even appear on entirely my thing. All right, so that is yeah, half to uh, <laughs> twenty six. All right, well that's enough. You fill it with <laughs> and the the door like uh, relents and opens itself because I don't know how arrows open a door, uh, and then the thunder damage just blows it up. It probably it probably hits the hinges. Yeah, it hits the hinges. It just like falls in, and then like it moves it enough that the thunder damage happens, and it explodes. Just wood Wait, splinters go everywhere. Uh, uh, beyond, uh, you can see a room filled with blood. Like there's just blood all over the ground. Uh, it, it looks like it goes up to like ankle deepness, ankle deepness, ankle deep height, and uh, it appears to be like running down from um, above. Like uh, there, there seems to be a platform, a, a little uh, five foot tall, higher part of the ground over here. And uh, the blood seems to be running down from there. You can say many things about this Auntie Flesh, but at least she chose an aesthetic and s decided to stick with it. I've posted up a gif of how you unlock something with an arrow. I don't even know what show it's from. Okay. All right, let's have a look. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, it bounces <laughs> off a thing. It's another thing. <laughs> okay, yeah. Fair enough, that's what happened. Uh, people who can't see the gif, just take our words for it, it all makes sense now. And, yeah, uh, we, we, we're staying in initiative now, for now though, because it's still relevant. Vladimir? Uh, I'll just go to the blood room. Sounds like a great idea. Yeah, and by the way, once you, get past, where the, once you get past where the door was, uh, there is no longer any like shards of stuff on the ground. 
Could you could you move me to the blood room? I rolled twenty. Okay. Uh, where about? I've logged into I've I've logged into Firefox now. So. Did you start? How many squares did you manage to make fine, it? But, uh, two next to Joe, so it would be one, two. So you've three, moved ten, four. ten, three. All right, you uh you move into the room and you can see around the corner. I'm gonna step into the blood. I'm gonna like. You you're not in the blood where I, I put you. Stop in front of the blood. Yeah, I can see now. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Yep. You, you bounced back. Uh, you wouldn't be in the blood there. Yeah? Alright. Cool. What do so, I, what, when you what, come around the corner, I... you can see hanging from uh, the ceiling, uh, like, bound by their wrists are several people, about a dozen uh, figures. They're all, like, bound by the wrists, hanging from the ceiling by what looks like uh, nettles, like sharp... Uh, cutting thorns around their wrists that are slowly bleeding them. Uh, the blood kind of runs down their bodies and then the floor is slightly slanted so all the blood is running down and dripping into this pool. All right. And, uh, uh, yeah, I you can love see there's what you've done with the place! Yeah, how many, how many of them are there? Uh, about a dozen? One, two, three, Do four, five, alive? six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, a dozen people. Uh, yeah, they're moving. Uh, they look terrified um several of them are missing their faces like there's just like gory red scarred tissue where a face would have been um some of them have like terrible wounds and as you kind of come around the corner you see all your tiny vladdies look at them and begin to like ooh, and like try and get closer yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i yep yeah. um yep yeah. that's uh that's problematic yeah, and you see, um, all of their mouths have been uh, sewn shut. I, I say, uh, do not move closer to me. My spirit guardians will attack you. Uh, not on okay. purpose, but because I can't, you know. And then I would like to, uh, like, how how thick do these things that like hold them look? Do they um, look like they're quite like, easy to break, or they look like uh, the thickness of rope. Rope, so. Like a little bit of damage would probably break it. Like yeah, like fairly it wouldn't minor be a damage. ton. Whatever it would be, like fairly minor damage. Yeah. So, in my experience with rope, would like one magic missile bolt or like two probably break it? Or like if three? you rolled a one, it wouldn't break it probably. But uh, anything other than that, it would pop them down. All right. Uh, in that case, I'll just get I'll get out my one of magic missile, um, expend six charges, and attempt to cut free eight of them or as many how many can i see from here like uh, properly see i i don't know how many I, I how many can you see on your screen i can see uh one two three four five six so in that case i'll do two bolts on the first two and then all the others one and just hope that it cuts them free so that's eight Um, so, uh, the only one is on the one where I used two, so I cut six of them, uh, off. Alright, yeah, six and... of them, uh, the, the things, like, break around the wrist, <sighs> they fall. You know what, I, I dismiss my spirit guardians. I'm afraid in their panic they'll, uh, yeah. run into them and die. Yeah, so you dismiss your spirit guardians, you see they fall, uh, they kind of hit the ground, they all, like, collapse to their knees, to the they all look very weak, exhausted. You get the feeling they haven't been here for, like, a short period of time, like, they've been hanging there. They lie there. I, they, they kind of make like pained moan noises, but you can see some of them are like pulling off the things around their wrists yeah. and like. And I say, those of you that can move, just stay here. We'll take care of the evil person, and then uh, we'll save you. If anyone is literally in the process of dying, I can heal them. But uh, otherwise, we can get you fixed up after we kill the bad thing. All right. They make. Um sort of moaning noises in your direction, like noises, noises of pain. They can't speak because of their mouths being closed, obviously. Yes. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Denk? Uh, I will come in in front of Vladdy. Oh. Diggity. Isn't this wonderful? Um, how high is that ledge there? About five foot, so you could grab it and pull yourself up. For you, it'd be oh, yeah, just I'll rolling just... yourself up. I, I step up. <laughs> and then, uh, who's not being cut down? I will help them. Uh, this woman here, I think Vlad couldn't see. Yeah, uh, I couldn't see her. 
I should really mark the ones. Okay, who I will. I will like. I've got a little hunting knife on me, and I'll cut her down with my action. I suppose. Cool. You go over. You cut it. She like falls into your arms, uh, or well, I guess against your abdomen, because you're so much taller than her. <laughs> and uh, like gasps. Uh, she's one of the ones who had her face removed. There's just like obvious visible muscle. Like you're like, why are you still alive? You should not be alive. Uh, but she's there. Uh, ha. Um. He's like. Don't try to talk, um, and you don't really want to go about the way we came through. There's more death that way. If you like, maybe want to get a bit mm-hmm. closer. I'm sure John could help you a little bit. Yeah. And As you I'll say, there's like it. more death that way. You hear more like the spikes like, slam shut again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which one is the next one that hasn't been cut down? I'll go towards them. Uh, I think down. This it's way, down the bottom. yeah, because you got like oh, this one. This gonna, one that I've one. used, I've moved, used all my movement anyway to get up here, so that'll be my end turn. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Salt Lord John. Um, actually, I think we can take ourselves. No, we'll stay initiative for now. Just because she is nearby, or she was in. Anyway. <laughs> so I uh, move forward. Yep, you move forwards. Uh, you can dash as well now if you want to once you get kind of past this step. I was going to ask. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna, can I move through like that or is like uh, not... Yeah, that's fine. You can move like that. But it is difficult terrain getting up the uh, the little ledge there, so you'd lose five points. Oh, like sorry. That. Mm, that, well, that's my move then. I can get, only get to the ledge. Alright, you pull yourself up onto the ledge. You can see a bunch of these people have been cut down. Uh, they don't seem to be like immediately dying, um, but they, they look sort of pained. Uh, you can see some of them down like in this direction haven't been cut free yet. I think pretty much everyone up here has been. I guess I'll take a dash action uh, to climb onto here and say, Come to me, those who want healing. I may be able to do something about your mouth as well. Okay. Uh... When you get to there, you sort of say, Alright, come to me if you want healing. Sounding kind of like, you know, pissed off these da- people dare need healing. Um, <laughs> I'm embracing my nature. I love it. I love it. It's brilliant. Uh, this pers- this one here... Uh, disappears. And in its place... A like it basically its hands were tight. Oh my god, the cat managed to force the door. It manages to <laughs> drag what itself the fuck down. Is up with your cat? I have the door blocked as well. Um, and a hag appears, oh, uh, triggering up, guys. her held action. Like she was disguised self, she appears and triggers her held action of swinging her claws at you. You know, I was going to insert them, actually, but thought I shouldn't. That Matt's not going to be that crew, you know, this guy. No, no he is. He is. He is. Uh, she'd have had advantage because of being tricksy. But it probably won't make a difference. Let's see. Claws. Twelve. Yeah, so she swings her claws, but misses you horribly. It's like a... Nah! Ah! Uh, you still get your bonus action to take it if you want, because um, this this happens on your turn. Uh, uh, in that case, I'll shoot. Your your what? You'll see. <laughs> you'll, you'll see. Your your bonus. Ah, uh, yes, your spiritual weapon appears, pixelated, and gives her a stabbing. Stab. A jolly good stabbing. Uh, it misses. Yeah. It bounces off her like leathery hide. Alright. It's then, conveniently for me, her turn. So, the night hag who appears, like, shows her, like, you know, rotting teeth in your direction, like, cackles happily. She's like, oh, I got you, motherfucker. And she is going to... Ah, she knows who's going to... Yeah. She's going to move away from you, so you can get an attack opportunity if you like. Could I take the attack from Tini with my spiritual weapon instead? No. Nah, then I'll, I'll, then I won't. I'll keep my reaction. 
So she moves over here, drops down into the blood, looks at uh, Vladimir Lucian, Matt, and another skeleton, and goes, Hello, puppets! And she is going to hey, cast... Hey, that's my thing! Go yeah. see her from there. Uh, yeah? Yes, Joe can. He will uh, counterspell. All right. She counterspells your counterspell. She... Ah, oh, she's... Her turn, turn's just started. I mean, I don't have a fifth spell slot. So, uh, don't have a third level spell slot, so it would be a fifth level spell. Well, fair and enough. I only have two fifths left, so she'd have to roll for it. All right, so she'd be rolling with her... her spellcasting modifier. It's not she's super great, I don't think. It's just her... She... Hags are usually charisma. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, abilities are intelligence based. Uh, okay, so she rolls her intelligence. It's only 15. Oh. Oh! Oof. Um. Bitch be thick! Alright, so... <laughs> Girl, you thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. So she, try he she tries to counterspell your counterspell. Um, can you actually see her from where you are? I asked you and you said yes. Well, I didn't quite... I don't have the... Can, can you see her on your screen? Yes. Okay, then but yeah, you... I can see through the eyes of many, many skeletons, so I don't know if that Oh, applies, that doesn't count. Let me, dynamic let me... lighting wise, it's kind yeah, of you straight can... down there, so I can see her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You can see her. Um, Alright, uh, yeah, she tries to cut your spell, your spell. You rip it away from her, and she, like, snarls angrily as whatever spell she was trying to cast um, does not happen. Wee. Wee. Boop. And everyone goes, boop, 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 boop. She wastes two of her spell slots <laughs> instead of just one. What about that? That was clutch. Well done, Joe. Well, right. it, she might have just been using a low level. We, maybe, she we could have been using a counter No, it was definitely a spell. Could have all died from spikes horribly. Alright. Um, what's her name? So, next up, another hag appears. Do, do, do. So, this, this person disappears. Or well, doesn't disappear. Remorphs, forms into the most terrifying hag you've ever seen. Uh, she has uh, like she's about not my grandmother, man. She's, <laughs> she's about seven foot tall, even though she's stooped over. Her skin is drawn, just like a jackal's smile, and her hair is writhing leeches. Ugh. Yeah. She's beautiful. She divine. She looks at you and like grins her like horrible grin all these broken teeth in her mouth and she is going to cast a mirror image on herself oh fuck that so multiple little <laughs> hags appear uh right and that is but that's all she can do uh one second what's a good symbol for mirror image i'll just do a little Little no, you can't hit me thing, and then she kind of wanders backwards to about here, and like wraps her hands around like like one of these tied up people, so she sort of leans against them like grinning her like horrible grin. Yeah. Uh, and that is her turn. So it is Lucian. Does she have a bonus action? That'd be nice. Oh, okay. Pardon? Section. Talking to myself, sorry. Lucian. Uh, I cast haste on myself from the ring. Okay. And charge the night hag. Fuck right. her shit up. Nice. Like, Go get oh, it. Fuck him. All right, dread oh, pig tooth, like, gives you a piggy toothed grin. As Shwing. you run up. Okay. Swing your sword. Ah, uh, yeah, that definitely hits. For 13. Um, would you get... The 12 you only, you only get one attack when you cast taste, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, you can get one. Oh, one. yeah, good point. I don't so get a second. Just, just yeah. a 13. I was waiting for you to tell me some like clever trick you'd found, but no, yeah. 13 no, hits, sir. No, this is Leaves a, not knowing the spell. a big, <laughs> big cut in the... Dread pig to if she like snarls at you angrily. <clears throat> uh, anything else? I snarl back. And that's All right. It. You have snarl off. Another one of these prisoners morphs. Oh, fuck. 
into another hag. Who like you fucked up, guys? Cackles. <laughs> <laughs> They're moves, just hags. Moves over here. That's and a hag. Is going to try and cast a spell. Uh, I don't have counter spell. Neither do I. I was going to get it next level. So a lightning bolt. Oh wait, would that hit the? Na, 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 na. No, it's just me and John. Would it hit the prisoners as well? Uh, no, it's a no. five feet wide. It's like it's like a one square. So okay, one. that's fine. She so like yeah. blasts a lightning bolt out of you. It's not DC eleven though. It's DC. It's no, not twenty two. It's DC fourteen. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna do another absorb elements. So absorb I those elements. Absorb the real good. Absorb dim elements. Does absorb elements stack? Because I'm currently on no. eight random. Actually, I think it actually does stack. Like it doesn't say it doesn't. I'm I'm collecting. <laughs> I'm, collect I'm starting to move skeletons, by the way. Uh, just to speed up my turn a bit. Cool. That's so fine. I only take thirteen. So that's thirteen. Um, it can stack for now. That's fun. Yeah. I got Scary three acid damage and skeletons. five light. <clears throat> that other nice hag is like, I wish I still had my lightning bolt. <laughs> 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 my lightning bolt butter is huge right now. It's the fucking conga line. Oh, Can't man join that conga. <laughs> I wish a million skeletons wouldn't kill me this turn before I can lightning bolt them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when it's Joe's turn. It's, uh, it's Joe's. Uh, yes, it's Joe's turn. She lightning bolts. She okay. moved a little bit. Um, she's gonna kind of move over so she's near all these innocents. Joe, Joe moved his full thirty feet. Yeah. The skeletons are moving so that they can do their thing. Joe is going to turn his other bag of holding inside out, depositing even more skeletons into the battle. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> So we're going to get another nine skeletons. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, really? I thought... Th and these each cost two skeletons. So without yeah, this, do. you would have... 40? Oh my god. Yeah. God, Necromancers. God. Would you have more if you didn't have spenches? Yes. When are you going to be a lich, Adam? I can't wait for that. That's going to be cool. Uh, I big. mean... I'm only level 10 at the moment. The thing is, the, these aren't going to... At the moment, they're really good, but as the level goes up and up, you guys are going to surpass me by fucking miles. But the weird thing um, will be when Adam's a, like a lich, but uses his lich powers to do nothing but make skeletons, so he has an <laughs> army of several hundred. So, he's like... He's like... He's like Sauron, I think. Like he doesn't actually need to like cast spells. He just has an army. Yeah. Joe's yeah. going to build me an army. Joe's going to... Th oh, sorry. Yes. Well, I know, go ahead, Tim, because I'm going to just go with my turn. Yeah, just finish your turn, Adolf. Yeah. Okay. Joe's going to say, stand up, fire your first shot at this hag. If she's still alive, fire the second at her. If not, fire the other one at uh, that one over there. I realize most of them won't be able to see the other one over there, but he doesn't care. Uh, so, okay, so which was this hag, the first hag? Oh, uh, the, the, the one, that one. Okay, yeah. She has no cover or anything, so... Yeah. And and the line are... <laughs> they're, they're weaving in and out so that they can shoot at her without... They all lean just slightly to the right direction. Yeah. yeah. So, first, uh, can I get an AC, if we play? Yes, uh, their AC is 17. Damn. It's part of the hag. Like, like, fuck. Um, <laughs> and I've got 18 for the first attack, right, so... First attack against this bitch. So which skeletons are firing? Is it just the line? All of them. Ah, uh, oh, every uh, single uh, skeleton. Line. Every single skeleton. And Spencius will do his first shot against her as well. But anyway, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten with two crits. Okay, let me just check something. She oh is God. resistant to uh, this damage. Okay, so uh, that's only 52 damage to her. Oh, is that all? Okay. Uh, she's still up. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> one one shot from Spencius because he's also in the fry. Boop. Uh, that misses. Uh, that misses. Yeah. God damn it, Spencius! Um, in that case, the fact that she's still standing means that she'll get another another couple of attacks against her. 
Um, oh, because those were the instructions. And... What? One, two, three, four, five, six. With Thank one crit. You. I'm just checking the, the numbers, math here. 1, 2, 3, 4, right. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it's, 13, it's, 14, it's 15, 16, It's literally numbered. 18. Yeah. It's two, so twice 18. 18. Yeah. Okay. It gives me a headache. Wait, let me give a minute to think about it. Jeez. Um, so, yeah, okay. Uh, your second volley con continues firing. 52. It does only 27 damage. All right. She is still up. But with a nice addition of about, I don't know, because she's Ooh, not one. dodging these. A lot of this is her, like, natural defensiveness. So the arrows are sticking into her. Um, you, you know, suspensious. she's filled with these arrows. She's, like, staggering, like, but she doesn't go down. She doesn't really bleed. But she's like, ah, ah. <laughs> she, she is, um, she's probably got a couple of arrows stuck in her. Uh, that's yeah. the end of my turn. She, there, there's like one stuck in her cheeks and her like lips and in her throat. She's staggering. It, it looks uh, it's horrific. <laughs> that that was a thing that happened. Uh, okay, another night tag. <laughs> Joe readies another bag. <laughs> 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 what? You need you need one more bag of holding just for threatening people. Just to yeah. be like, I got another one. <laughs> there's, there's nothing in here, but they don't know that exactly. Oh, uh, uh, which which line do they get? I can't move for the pillar, so it'd be twenty twenty five for. A... I think when when Wizards of the Coast ma made the necromancer, someone was like, "Ah, oh, I think that means that someone could carry like fifty skeletons around and they'd all be really strong." And they'd be like, "Yeah, but no one's gonna DM that." Yeah, no, <laughs> no one's gonna do that. That'd be stupid. They're just gonna bring like one or two who, along. Who would do that? And then like online games popped up, and they're like, "I mean, now it's a lot easier to drag toads." Like, yeah, but yeah, you have to like write your own macro for that. It's like no one would do that. And then it, Adam right. happened. They're yeah, going to run over here. Time for that. Oh. Uh, no. I, it was supposed to be a higher level. It gave me the options the last couple of times. Uh, oh, you didn't tell me that you were going to roll sorry, a spell. I, yeah, I didn't so think to. Uh, I'm casting spell a spell. Alright, you counter spell. Fifth level again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My okay. last fifth level spell is gone. She's going to counter spell your counter spell. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Got the Don't be dumb. Spell. DC 15. Eesh. Should be All easy right. enough for her to make. Yeah. She counter spells the counter spell. One more <laughs> level and I'd be counter spelling that counter spell. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Then I have to counter spell that counter spell. Uh, <laughs> I could do it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, oh. Alright, yeah, you. Oh, Joe. Joe, uh, holding down an entire coven of hags. And she loses her, uh, her lightning bolt. Fellas! Take five. I got this. <laughs> uh, and that's all she can do. That's Vladimir. all she wrote. That's um, Joe pretty much out of decent I'll, spell. I'll, I'll, so. I'll, I'll yeah, I imagine that's uh, you out of spell slots pretty much, right? like, uh, I, I assume you have these two over here, and I'll move over here. And... Um... Uh, the... Oh, I've heard. The, the ugly one. Mm -hmm. uh, does she have, like, half cover from being behind people? Yeah, she's got uh, half cover. Half cover? Okay. So, plus two to AC. I, I, I ignore half Yeah, I know cover. you do. Yeah. Just don't ignore she's mostly doing it, you think, to so that if you start throwing AoE around, you kill innocents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> oh, as if we care. <laughs> <laughs> I care. I care. Yeah. I, I wish I had to say I don't actually care about innocents anymore. <laughs> I mean... At this point, no. <laughs> Too much has happened to I John. Mean, you, you can you can be a shithead. Uh, it's mercy just... killing, guys. Come on. Um... Is John what? slowly <laughs> turning into cash? We can heal them. Um, uh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> You're a healer? Nobody told me about this. <laughs> <laughs> um, fair enough. Uh, I'm... Uh, what do I want to do? I could... Hmm... Kilo. I'll I'll toss a fireball at her. Heal me. All right, make I uh, go roll d twenty first of all. Yeah. 
P20. What? Uh, to see... Okay, you hit one of her, illu uh, her illusions. But yeah, throw a fire. Well, I, I hate mirror image with a passion. Is is there a person inside <laughs> the illusion that he hits? Uh, I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, I'm pretty he... sure that's how it works. No, you the you, uh, you really throw sick. your fireball and it strikes one of the uh, the mirror images and it disappears and now there's only three flesh hags. Uh, I'll um I'll summon a sword and attack her with that. See if okay. that also hits an illusion. Let's find out. I know this one will hit her. Huzzah! You... Oh, here's it's a big sword. Steroid sword. Yep, yeah, that hits. Shit, shit damage roll. Like, hisses at you. I hiss back. Ow! Ow! And I'm getting I, a lot of static here. I, 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 I turn around to the people. I'm like, all right. If anyone else of you is a hag, tell me now. All right? <laughs> they all go. My <laughs> <laughs> turns over. I'm definitely not a hag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Denk, it's your go. Uh, I kind of want to do something fruity, but I don't know if I should or not. Oh, fruity. Uh, yeah, I, li I like saying fruity a lot. I mean, I th fruity. think I'm, I'm, I'm very sure that those two hags over there are in need of some, um, some, uh, marriage counselling. Uh, I know, but I've got little legs at the moment because like, I don't have haste on me and I can't oh, quite get true. there. I thought you hasted, uh, didn't you? Oh, no. Uh, illusion hasted. No, illusion I got, hasted. I got confused. I've saved my spell so we actually fight the BBEG. Um, I don't know if this one is the ba big bad. Might be. This room doesn't have an exit. Ah, uh, there is actually a door at the far end. Oh. Okay, in which case... This but room she does, does have look like yeah, a pretty I'm terrifying hag creature. Um... She... Like, she but... looks like what a vampire and a hag would shit out. Like, I... <laughs> I hope this is the final boss because I've just burnt my two fifth level spells. No. <laughs> uh, I'll twin spell firebolt the two lovely ladies in front of me. Alright. Uh, you also hear more spikes close behind you. Spikes. Just doing that now quickly. Uh, Alright. Uh, twin spell first firebolt. One miss the night hag. Uh, yeah. Second one on the ugly beach. Uh, do you want to roll a d20 for that? Oh, is that you doing it on the, the main one? Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, it hits her again. Cool. Well, it will. It, uh, Seven, yes, that hits Seven. her. Seven damage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. She... Big well. money, no whammies. Yep. Yeah. Just um, wait for Joe to have his go. I'm going to do this a little quick. <laughs> okay. Spikes and then Salt Lord. Salt Lord. I'll, I'll, st I'll stick around for a bit. Uh, could you ping the mirror image spell for me, please? Sure. Mirror image. Oh wait, that's not mirror image. That's ping in the character. There's a difference. <laughs> uh, oh image. god. Yeah, it's one of the times when attacks so or saves don't work. Yeah, it's against attack rules. This is true. Uh, I will move my spiritual weapon five feet to there to attack with it, the one that's very good. So full of arrows. <laughs> so many arrows. Just a tiny poke with a shiver. It's like got extra AC because of the arrows. <laughs> uh, yeah, that hits. Is she like screams still... in pain, she's still alive. Damn. She doesn't, mm, she doesn't really right. want to be anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's just... <laughs> Let me die! <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll try turning her to the. Come on, just fall asleep. It's... All right, she is going to counterspell oh. your toll. <laughs> it's a counter. Uh, it just counter works. Yeah. Oh, that counter. Yeah. Yeah. She's already used her reaction. Oh Actually, well, then another one of the hags will counterspell the toll. Okay. Had she used the reaction? Oh, did she? Yeah, because she cast a spell, you countered it, and she tried to counter yeah. your counter. So there's spell. one left that hasn't counterspelled this turn. Oh. It does take the spell slot, so it does, okay, you yeah. waste. So no. yeah, you start a spell on the a cantrip. Yeah, yeah I, did. I needed to. <laughs> yeah, but she gets a turn. I think I think Matt was very much aware what of he, of what he was doing. He didn't play himself. That's really yeah. No, no, that's fine. And I also moved like to the blood hag, like in melee. 
All right, you charge up the blood hag. She like bears her like horrible broken teeth at you. Are you British oh. by any chance? I certainly <laughs> am, dearie. Um, now she looks Scottish. <laughs> oh, wow. Which does. There's a heroin needle hanging out of her arm, so. Uh, oh, no. yeah. That's too classy to be Scottish then. Alright, my go it is uh, Dread Pig Tuff's go. She is going oh, to. Beautiful name. Cast. I can't count the spell, I've used my reaction. Yeah, I know. I think everyone has. Going to curse. I know what I want to cast, but I'm not actually seeing it here on her list yet. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> she fucking plane shifts and runs away. Don't no, she can't do that. Um, <laughs> you guys can't turn invisible? What the fuck? You're high. I think the smart thing to do would be to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it's what she really... wants. To... Oh, she could do that. To do so, the hag must have a heartstone in her possession, which she doesn't have because anti blood has them all hostage. So. Uh... <gasps> Drama. I would like to have ethereal'd and like just fucked off with her, but they're kind of trapped here. So instead, she's just going to... I thought they could turn invisible, Tech so it threw me off. Yeah, she's going to lightning bolt. Good. Fucking in. lightning bolt. No. Lightning bolt. Who uh, knew? Not your skeletons. That is a, that is a Seven lot. skeletons. <laughs> and illusion. It's double damage, right? Because yeah. it's AoE. Yeah. And it is uh, actually a DC 14 deck save. And two of them um, get his. Oh. Two of them get his uh, thing. <laughs> two of them get his thing? What? His uh, so aura. Aura saves. Oh, yeah. So the two with the aura. Yeah. Uh, that makes it. Uh, what's your aura? Plus five. Plus five. Makes Plus it. five. So it makes it, makes it. So they both take 39 damage because it's halved and then doubled. Yeah. So that's. 39 minus 23. Well, they would take 38 because you round half uh, down both ways. That yeah. That makes it easier to work out so they get... Their shield is gone. And they take 15 damage to their health. Shield gone. 15 damage to health. So those two are looking rough. Now these, if they don't make it, they die. If they do make it, then down to 8 health. So from the bottom going up, 1, 2, there. Three. And it's uh, 14. I did pretty well. Four. Ding, ding, ding! Five. Wow. wow. Right. Fuck me, they're a bunch of dexterous motherfuckers. You're a fucking little <laughs> bastard. The fact you said DC 14 as if it mattered to these dexterous, dexterous ladies. Last, yeah. last one was Sparrow, let's be real. Yeah. You just yeah. finger guns her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Picked her, like, Sparrow looks... The one that died, according no. to the one looks... that Matt labelled. Well, sorry, mm -hmm. Matt. Carry on. Uh, well, Pig Spiro Tuff... doesn't like being labelled. Yeah, it's true. He's beyond that. Uh, he looks utter... looks shocked. Like, what? No, they should all have exploded! Um, there's nothing... I mean... Uh, I can't think of anything she can do to give herself a chance of surviving. Take she can plead for mercy! <laughs> no, she can't. She's a hag. She doesn't understand mercy. She could run over there and try and hide from arrows. That she can. The thing you need to remember is that well-built undead last longer. All right, she uh, she, that's the end of her turn. <laughs> Anti flesh right. <laughs> grins at John like, "Thank you for coming so close." Dear. Oh, I forgot to do something. It'll happen on her turn then. Uh, I meant to do this at the beginning of the round. Um, hopefully, it isn't. Is she gonna take his face off? Off. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to go full helmet, but I don't know how that interacts. Did you say you're going to pull your helmet? No, I have the full helmet. Like, I don't do the flashy thing. You have thing. the full helmet. So, what you're basically saying is, John is not Jewish. <laughs> hey. That is not a lie, but it's not also not the thing I'm trying to say. I should be Ew. I know, I know, it's the worst. Suck. Yeah, I do suck. I feel like there should be an option in 5e where it's like, you can have your full helmet on, but then you have a field of vision of two. <laughs> say, say hi to your missus from us, Matt. Uh, they say hi. Uh, so a whispering. At the beginning of the, uh, the turn, this door uh, flew open, and 
gigantic shadowy mastiffs are preparing to enter the room. Some might even say Could shadow they mastiffs. By chance, be shadow mastiffs. They might, uh, in fact, be shadow mastiffs. Joe so, does have fermentation. You could blow my mind. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on, who's wait? Who's fast timing that innocent? Come on, that's not called for. It'll be Adam. It's always Adam. Hey <laughs> NPCs. What can I say? Uh, on John. Anti-flesh. That's the only reason Adam is on a diet, so he can more effectively fat shame NPCs. So, John. <laughs> claw. Oh, I should give these advantage. Or not advantage, I should put advantage on. Um, so I mean, roll two. Twice, yeah, yeah, roll two is what I meant to say. Uh, claw. Claw. Creepy hair tendrils. Your AC is 21, uh, isn't it? Yeah. God damn it. Okay, so it does a bunch of, like, weird, it, like, Flails at you, rakes its arm against you, hisses annoyed. I mean, I, I mean it was effort. Like it, it was almost hitting me, but you know, I am a shield. I am Franco Plate. Yeah. Quick, you know? And then I'm just going to check something. That you can see. Bugger. I'm starting to think this is most likely the final battle. She is going to misty step over and take cover behind this. Uh... Uh, I would like to counter spell that. No, don't. Please don't. <laughs> I don't have it. I'm just joking. Yeah. Counter spells <laughs> everywhere. Uh, she <laughs> she so pushes over to there my style. and she's going to actually go prone because fuck all those arrows just in case. Um, Lucian, it's your go. Hmm. Oh, that's tempting. That is tempting. Fly, Lucian. We can handle these. I like. Be warned when I start doing stuff like this. I don't think she has a reaction. Uh, okay. I think I can get down there with being hasted. I think you can. Oh. Yeah, actually, you just. Yeah. She looks over like, ow. <laughs> Stand that. a bit more to the side. <clears throat> Stand where you think you would stand. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'll give her cover from there because you're fi both fighting up five foot and like there's a pillar there. But she's laying prone, so you have advantage. So that would be good. true. Yeah. No, I will actually be there. Because I know. Oh. That's the other thing I wanted to do. Uh, so, do I have advantage on her? Uh, yes, because she did bring herself prone. Okay, I'm going to Hexblade's Cursor. Oh dear. And... Not you. Huh. One moment while I adjust something. Four... Okay. Joe, Joe is going to wonder waff the Shadow Mastiffs, but he <laughs> really doesn't want to shoot Lucian. Yeah. I mean, Lucian doesn't know what you're you're going to do ahead of time. No, so I know. No. Okay, so these are against the prone hag. Uh, that hits. Nice. Oh, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> 20. Yeah. Have you got any spells? <laughs> yeah, I have yet to use any. Nice. Paladin crits. Damn. Uh, she is neither undead nor fiend. Yeah, I know. <laughs> just checking. She's a bit of a weird one. Trouble. Oh yeah, you're doing it. Yeah. So just 26. And second attack. Also hits. Uh, that will also be a smite. Okay. I'll just wait for the total Come damage. Come on. And third attack. <laughs> it's always satisfying saying that. <laughs> Which will I don't, I don't want to be that guy, but she did have one mirror image left, right? Oh, she did have a mirror image. So oh. Actually, she had two, because only one of them had been oh. hit. No, two of them got destroyed, right? No, actually, no, one, only one of them got destroyed. Yeah, the other one's got to... So, I'll just roll a d20 first to see if that first hit hits her or the mirror Well, that's image. good. That means you can't meta game for the fact that doesn't know whether it was her or not. So, the first one uh, smashed against a mirror image. The second oh, one crit. hit her. I think it hit her. 
I'll double check in a second. And the last this... one would have well, that one definitely yeah. hit her. I'll just check uh, mirror image. Yeah, we'll check one second. Left. Um... It goes eight higher. Yeah. Uh, so the yeah uh, the the last two hit the the crit missed you you just very oh, thoroughly destroyed oh, no, 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 because it's eight or higher right yeah uh, but yes. the the first one destroyed that mirror image I doubt that oh the, yeah the yeah, image okay, would survive yeah a crit with yeah, two divine smite damage of course okay I think I need to roll a divine smite for the last hit and that should be it. So 17 plus 6 is 22, and then the last one was... Uh, oh, Did I use the Divine Smite on the mirror image? Uh, yes, because you didn't know what you were hitting. Yeah, that's fair. So it's, it's 52 damage she took from the second and third attack. Okay, 52 damage. Beauty. Beauty. How dare you. <laughs> Uh, including the smite from the third attack, I thought we were going to smite. He did, for 12. Ah, oh, okay. For some reason, I just didn't see it. So, 70. Cool. Alright, yeah, you, you lay yeah. into her, you destroy one of her mirror images, she's got a single one remaining. She's like, ha And, uh, anything okay. else? Uh, do the dogs actually have room to move around me there? Uh, they would be able to squeeze around you. Okay, in which case I'll yeah, once you're there, they, they can't do, so you've got them, like, hemmed in. Okay. Uh, Dismal <laughs> Mudwallow is going to... I mean, they're, they're kind of coming across like one-trick ponies, but it's just very useful. Move over here. Ah, I'm actually, she's not afraid of an attack opportunity from a bloody priest. She's going to move away. Oh, fucking sword. Move this ward for a second. 30 feet. So she's going to move over that way. Hops down, moves to there, and is, is going... going to take his attack of opportunity? No. Lightning bolt! At level 5. Uh, who does that hit? Uh, Spencius and all those yeah. behind Spencius. As to say, obviously, area of effect, he's going after the skeletons. Because mm -hmm. NPCs automatically know. Uh, Spencius. They just see a good it. line. <laughs> There's a lot of good lines, man. Uh, Spencius takes 16. Now for each of the, these four skeletons. One. <laughs> oh my god. Two, yes! Three. Yes, that's better. Four. That's better. Die! So, two fail. To make it, and that's a total of oh, that would just be a straight thirty-two damage to them. So that's zero, and that would be nine off. Cool, done, done. Okay. Uh, doing well on your your deck saves for them, Uncle Joe, my good man. <sighs> Joe goes. I've had enough of these motherfucking hags in this motherfucking. I forget where we are, but it's somewhere in Mumble Fucking. It's not a fucking coven. So Joe is going to. Joe's gonna. I don't know how best to do this. Where was Joe? Joe was there, wasn't he? Yeah. He wouldn't be able to go behind the pillar and fire down to hit all three of those with a Wunderwaff, would he? Um. Uh... They, what, what is the one draft? Is it a dex save or is it uh, an attack roll? It's a dex. So, uh, no, it's, it's an attack it's roll with lightning. dex saves. Oh, okay. Uh, the one you're attacking would get a, if they were down here, would get a, um, a bit of cover, half cover. That's fine, that's fine. So Joe will do that. He's going to move up here and he'll hit all three of them. Uh, so Wunderwaff against the furthest one. Okay, and I can't counterspell uh, a Wunderwaff, can I? Mm. No, it's just no, it's, a, it's a weapon that has a magical property. Yeah, it's so a javelin. It's essentially it's just a javelin of lightning that I don't have to go pick up afterwards. But I think a fourteen misses anyhow, so the last one doesn't take damage, but the other two have to make dex save. Okay. Uh, I will take twenty-one lightning damage. Just checking something. I'm listening to cold fire, but not lightning. 
So this one, Dread Pigtooth dies. <laughs> uh, blasted apart by the Wunderwaffe. And as she does, you can see that the magic the other ones are like working with and forming kind of breaks apart on their fingers. Like, no! Uh, this one here has to make a deck save. Uh, which she fails. And so she takes 21 lightning damage. Yeah. And the last one manages to get out of the way of your, like, uh, your Wunderwaff. Uh, she still takes Ow. half damage. Another 10. Uh, uh, right, and then bonus action, Joe's going to command the skeletons. Uh, those with crossbows, fire at this hag. Unless you don't, in which case, hit them with your katanas. <laughs> oh, wait, Spencer says crossbows. No, he meant those with bows, fire... Whatever, he wants Spencer to hit it with the swords while the others fire bows at her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm too... Yeah, you're, you're going too far into your character. Two, four, just the tip. Two, oh, you forget four, Adam is also six, old. So. Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. There's twenty-two attacks going against this one. Okay. Um, I think she'd have cover from a few of them. Is the only thing. Oh, okay. Uh, how many without uh, cover? Uh, without cover, all the ones directly in front of her. And so two, four, this one six, here, so eight, one, ten, twelve, thirteen attacks without cover. Okay. So this would just be the IC seventeen. Correct. Uh, I think this one doesn't uh, doesn't have cover. He doesn't have cover from that one either. Okay, so fourteen with AC seventeen. Fourteen yeah. with AC seventeen. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So. Cool, cool. Ooh, nice net twenty Ooh. in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with the net 20. Those are some pretty good rolls. Eight. Thank you. One crit. 78 oh. damage. Obviously halved. To 34? No? No. Oh, no, it's higher than that. Uh, yeah, it's 39. 39. 39. 39. <laughs> All right, this one follows her sister in being filled with arrows. And then there's eight more against her with what would the AC be up to? 19? Uh, yes, it would go up to 19. Cool. Uh, and how many did I just say? Sorry, somebody remind me. Was it 8? I believe you said 8, yeah. Yep. Uh, it's a couple of single attackers. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. The numbers have been thinned by a few lightning bolts. Uh, two hit. Bad rolls in there, but oh well. Bad uh, rolls, bad rolls. What you going to do? Hard damage. All right, yeah, she's still up, uh, filled with arrows, much like her sister was beforehand. And then Spentius walks up, un undoes his robes, shakes it off, his arms come out, separates from two arms into four. General Grievous. He, they spin around, pulls out his katanas, and he's going to do... These are two non-magical katana attacks, and then two plus one dagger attacks. I don't okay. know if that makes any difference, but two katanas, uh, 20 for 12... And a 14 for 9. Alright, are they magical or not? I literally just I know, said no I literally didn't hear attacks. you. Alright, so they are for 6 and 4. So that one misses. 10. I imagine a 14 misses. No, no. Oh, 14 does miss, you're right. So, yeah. four more so just 6. Uh, these two are magical, they're plus 1 daggers. Okay. So two attacks with plus 1 daggers. Let the... That's an 18 for 8. Yep, chibs are... 23 for 5. So 13 damage. Still up, uh, badly wounded after that horrible volley of terrible terror. And that's the end of Joe's turn. But they're all still in a nice area for you to affect. That's true. If I had any area of effect stuff left with them. Uh, <laughs> we broke the coven. The coven is broken. Mm. Uh, you but... said we. Come out here and say that to my face. Turtle <laughs> gristle butt. You broke the <laughs> Yeah, just single-handedly fighting a coven of hags, whatever. Uh, they've still got some stuff they can do. Um, it's super <laughs> like useful. roll over and fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Uh, Turtle Gristlegum is going to... God, my kingdom for her to spell magic. <gasps> Turtle. 
Turtleback Crystal Gum. Du, du, du. Nope, 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 nope. It's going to move over here and climb up onto there. So she gets a little cover. Aww. And then Coward. she is going to cast Magic Missile on Magic missile. Lucian. Shields. Bugger. It doesn't help. It does. Oh, it does. Shield the scoundrels, Magic Missile. says in the spell. Yeah. Uh, never oh, mind. really? I never knew that. Yeah. yeah. So she Magic Missiles you, thinking, ha, I'll go for all the armor, and then you shield it. And she goes, oh, yeah, he has shield. <laughs> anti anti flesh told me that on the way here. So don't magic missile the big guy. He actually has sh fuck. Well, egg on my face. Um, <laughs> these bitches have barely managed to get spells off. <laughs> Look at the magic casters. Otherwise, that'd be embarrassing. Uh, Vladimir. Vladimir. Um, I can see all the civilians. Uh, so, yes. Yes. Um, what's your ruling on attacking a prone target with a, um, spiritual weapon? Would it be disadvantage or advantage? Because it's a melee attack. It's still a melee. Uh, it's melee, so yes. it would be advantage. But, but, but prone doesn't say melee and range attack. It says if the attacker is within five feet of it. Oh, so then, just... no. I think you're, you're at a distance trying to, like, judge it yourself uh, using the weapon, yeah, so right. I think it's a uh, disadvantage. Um, I will activate my spirit guardians, designating all of us, all the civilians, and every skeleton that I can see, uh, which are all the ones in this room and most of the ones in the hallway. I will, I'll mark the... Oh, you can see the ones in the hallway? I can see up to this one. Everything oh. behind that I can't see. In that see. case, there is one skeleton that I will mark with a... Dot to show that he is not um, I look forward to it calmly walking into Vladdy's skeletons in like an hour and just exploding <laughs> So I will do Spirit Guardians at a slightly increased level. Um, slightly? Slightly. And I will move... Can I, like, stand there against the pillar, or is that completely taken by the pillar? Um, It's completely taken by the pillar. Alright. Then I'll move over here... Getting the two night eyes, sadly not the other one in there, and I'll move my spiritual weapon over here and attack the night hag next to me. Okay. Oh, Fuck. She still looks kind of annoyed with herself about the whole thing, uh, so you managed to stab her quite handily. Too busy beating herself up. And no, that's beating. my turn. Uh, okay, the Shadow Mastiffs. Uh, I mean, they can attack Lucian. They can move into the space and come back. Mm -hmm. and they're pack He's already used his reaction, so... Yeah. yeah. He also shielded, so... Yeah, but there's not much else they can do. They he also, I think, have it. disadvantage because they're in, like, bright light. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, there's a daylight floating about. Oh, bright yeah. light created by sunlight. Uh, Alright, well, sunlight. okay, it's not sunlight, so that's fine. So... What's, what's, Lucian's, what's Lucian's AC at the moment? Uh, 26. I'm not seeing Yeah, they're gonna, have a, they're gonna have a tough time. <laughs> right, they come. They they are with their plus five. Uh, so one, <laughs> two, three. So no crits in there. So that's them. Uh, Good try, Dink. Isn't there four of them? I can see four of them. One yeah. of them's a shadow mastiff alpha. Um, Fair enough. I, I don't really know what that means, but okay. Um, <laughs> you know, now that I look at it, I don't know either. <laughs> uh, I I feel pretty useless at the moment. I'm not gonna lie. Um. <sighs> Which hit the bloody it, one? That hag looks is is completely beaten up. This one it's here. It's pretty messed up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if Let the spirit guardians take care of her. Bump the bloody. Oh, one. that's yes. a good point. Sorry, I forgot about spirit Quit guardians. Quick kill stealing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll come over here and I'll biff on the one that's mildly annoying, Lucian. Okay. Oh, oh, that was wrong. I meant to booming blade. Meh. Alright, we'll just hit Sorry. the same attack roll and stuff. Okay, that's or... good. Uh, oh, <laughs> didn't need to do that. You, you take uh. 1,120 damage. <laughs> uh, you hit her uh, for 9 damage, plus your yeah. thunder damage of 3, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so 12 more Thank damage. You very much. What? Uh, yeah. 
and I forgot to use my reaction to attack the doggos, but that was dumb. Oh well, that's my go. Okay, Shadow Master <laughs> Alpha is going to... I guess it will try this. Uh, very low wisdom saving throw, if you can pass it. Uh, oh, fuck story. me, does it... Is it every single skeleton's got to make it as well? Yes. <laughs> oh. do, do you, I think it's your mass roller oh, time. I, I, yeah, I, I, was, I was scared. You're I scared. literally cannot fail that. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a doggo. It sounds nasty. I don't like doggo. I don't like doggo. He's a nasty doggo. I, li I like fluffy I mean, doggo. John, you can't fail, but you sure as fuck tried. <laughs> um. Ha, ah, fuck you. <laughs> yes, the Salt Lord lives! Uh, right. <laughs> to be fair, it kind of is weird that John is now 12th level, which is the Battle Royale level, and Hercule did prophesy this coming. I did. And I prophesied everyone dying around Lucian, which has normally been coming true, but not today. Uh, okay. Uh, Alright, uh, I would like to move that. Oh, great. And uh, does she have? Do I see one hag or do I see many in that pot? Uh, you see two hags crouching down, <laughs> trying to fend off Lucian's assaults. Could you could you twin spell hitting both her and the mirror image? <laughs> Technically, yes, they are separate targets. No, they 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 count as the same creature. It's just a yeah. they're kind of like swapping and shitting place. You're just trying to pick the right one. Alright, uh, can I move also there then? Like, uh, to yeah, sure. Alright, Lucian, uh, enjoy this buff. I really do, but. Did, did... Oh! Yeah. What the? Ray's dead? Uh, <laughs> um... Oh, sorry, I guess it pinged the wrong one. <laughs> No, 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 we wait Why? an hour as Bro. John starts making his own undead army. <laughs> How did it go to that one? I was uh, going to do it. I mean, he clicked Ray's dead, which... I know, I know. I want... I'm okay. sorry. Sorry for joking, Tim. Fuck me, God. Yeah, it's a serious game, Adam. I uh, would appreciate it. <laughs> do you really think it's a serious if game? It <laughs> if you were treated as such. I would, um, you know, we all, uh... We've come and, together uh, here to play some hardcore Dungeons and Dragons. And uh, then, as an action, I would like to attempt to grapple the hag, specifically okay. her mouth, so that she can't speak. That is I not a like thing you can do within mouth. 5e, but you can attempt to grapple. With my mouth. <laughs> uh, yeah, Press uh, your lips against like... hers. She screams, No tongues! <laughs> oh, uh, no, not my tongue! He like... bites his tongue. I'm out I of your league! I don't like the prospect of her <laughs> running away. I'm too so... pretty for you! Eh, uh, I guess as an action, I'll try to shiv her with the dagger. Alright, give her a shiv. Could you use a mint? <laughs> <laughs> not just not my. I'm not that into you! She says as you try and shiv her. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't even hit the. Actually, would you hit the. Uh, 20 the advantage. She's thrown. Oh, that's true. I'll, I'll roll for a doopy then. Uh, you stab her duplicate and there is now just one hag. That was the intention. Ermigurd. Alright. Really the intention? Dread really? Pigtooth is super dead. Mouth grappling. Anti Flesh is like. <sighs> she pulls herself to her feet. Uh, she is going to strike down at Lucian. With uh, great vengeance. With great vengeance. Uh, she has the high ground, so she gets advantage. Supers. Uh, one, two, three. None of this hit. Not quite. All right. Uh, she so is then to going one, to Misty Step. Uh, I got what Dank gets his attack first. She gets first. hit by Dank. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fuck. Never mind. Never mind. Who cares? Uh, yeah. Misty Steps. Poof. Oh, do. To here and. Cackles gleefully. I can't that see is... the scary doggo anymore, though, so that's good. Actually, she's going to move to there. <laughs> so, yeah. No, I can just no, see her running around the room. Which is the best one? God damn it, I just buffed Lucian, and he's not even going to hit her with all those attacks. Lucian? Oh, I am. 
I miss his step into the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you can do, I can do better. That's it, my boy. She looks at you and goes, You're not locked in here with me. I'm locked in. Wait. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> Yeah, no, she does, right? She does, right? Also, you have, like, your great turn is now emitting great light, like, 30, 30. Yeah, so. uh, oh, yeah, actually, that's a good point. Uh, we'd be able to see into the room better. All right. Solutions and emitting light. I'll just... um, Bang, there we go. Thank you. Okay. Drinker. Uh, 15 minutes. Did you have a crit? Yeah, I did not have a crit. Shame I didn't have advantage on that. That I'm I'm very glad there wasn't advantage on that personally. Um, uh, does that actually hit? No, no. It uh, bounces off her like hard shit in his bony hide. Uh, that yeah. one hits. For fucking twenty four damage. Ah, uh, the stick one misses. Well, there's also another two D eight radiant damage from the uh, holy weapon John did. That's already on there. there. Oh, that's on is, there. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it yeah, that's where that nine came from. All right, yeah, you draw that one. You uh, yeah. you strike her, and she like hisses angrily at you. Anything that's else? Mildly less effective than I was hoping for. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Dismal, <laughs> dismal mud wallow is going. That's a wisdom save against spirit guardians. She not a wisdom save. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, she presses, she presses the wisdom shirt button, and uh, she passes. She does not pass it. She takes twenty-two radiant damage. Okay, okay. So she takes twenty radiant damage. Screams in twenty-two. Twenty-two. I okay. She took it, uh, and she is going to cast. Hello. Fucking magic ah, missiles on Vladdy. Hello. No. I don't want to have shield spell. Yeah. I feel like you should. I feel also like you should have counter spell. Like, you feel more like a wizard to me in a way. Well, I, I know there's also... no attack roll, but I feel like I should have wished. No. You... <laughs> Not working. <laughs> You're gonna have it eventually. What is it? It's three d four for level one, one plus three, or yes. one d yeah. four plus one three times. Oh. Uh, it, well, she's uh, doing it all on one target. So three d four plus three. Boop. Uh, Eleven damage. Bunch of magic missiles crash into you. Uh, and then she's going to move away, because she doesn't like these spirit guardians. Um, Spencius isn't very smart, so he'd probably use his katana for his attack of uh -oh. opportunity. No, I forgot about Spencius. She's going to stay where she is. Oh, okay then. Yeah. Uh, Uncle Joe, it's your go. Uh... Uncle Joe, it's your go. All, all, all your skeletons are real scared. Scared. They are, scared. so they can't move any closer to the... Uh... Okay. All of them are. Some this one up here isn't, so he can move down. But he he can't move into the spirit guardians. Sorry. So he's gonna move down to here. Uh, <laughs> Does he know that? Well. that? That wasn't the instructions he was given. <laughs> that, that, that that's his full movement, Matt. <laughs> oh. I just really want him so, to like so run a little forward and just explode. <laughs> if you want to give him extra movement, then no. yeah, we can do that. Um. But yeah, these couple are going to move forwards a bit as well. Just just to get closer. They're still scaredy poops. Um, Bencius is going to wail on this bitch. With two non-magical katana attacks. One, two... Ooh, and that 20. Alright, uh, that 20 hits six. her and kills her. Oh, okay. So you... Cut her head um, from her body, she screams and falls to the ground. Seeing that, Joe's gonna go, Focus your remaining attacks on that one up there! And so Spencer's is gonna move and do his two dagger attacks. You don't have to do daggers. what he says, you know, you're your own person! Ah! Oh, that seems just the one act. That's only six. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then she's gonna get... Uh, can <laughs> I see the alpha? Which one's the alpha? It's the one at the very front. Oh, that one there. Okay, yeah, so there is one, oh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attacks against the hag without disadvantage. Cool. Uh, she's behind cover, so she's 19 AC right now. Cool. 
But you've been rolling like 22s and 23s for everything, so I'm sure it won't matter. Uh, well, it's either crazy high or crazy low. I know. Crazy Two high hits. or crazy low. I only swing one way. Crazy. 20 damage. Okay. And then... Half two, to ten. four, six, eight, ten, twelve, uh, fifteen against her with disadvantage. And, and obviously the crazy yeah. high AC. Red indicates a miss. Disadvantage, remember? Yeah. So, probably not going to get many hits. Oh, one, what? two, three hits. Not okay. bad. Okay. Look at those. 21 next to 22, 20 next to 23. 28 damage. Damn. Half to 14. Alright. Yeah, arrows Joe, start to whittle away on this next hag. Joe's going to move to here. And he is going to... Uh, chill touch. Wait, can he see into the room? I can't see where the hag is, I don't think. Well, I can see Lucian, but that's about it. Yeah, you can't see the hag. She's, she's oh, is that probably, what the hag is? Probably put herself in a corner to like avoid you guys. Oh, <laughs> she's in the corner. Okay. So let's say where, where the the arrow even was. Even if you like, could see her, is, like see her. there, there'd be there wouldn't really be a way. I don't think. Nah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, then Joe is going to. She where where can he see in there? I mean, he could. He could hit a lot of things, but it also hit Lucian, and it's it's not a great idea. Yeah, he's not going to do that. It's a, it's a, it's a, I mean, it's really tempting. But no, I'm he's not. Right, I, I might on my turn. Joe's oh, going to chill God. touch this bitch. Uh, misses. End of his turn. Okay. Uh, remember, Lucian is not good at death saves, as we all saw at the log. But no, it was he's gonna a tiefling, right? He's resistant to fire. You, you <laughs> well oh, bloody know he's not that sort of tiefling. Matt, with sorry. Uh, Okay. And I also make the point that I am currently trapped in a room with four hounds and a hag. Oh, no, not after I'm my time, you won't Also, be. I forgot to do my wisdom save at the end of my turn, Matt. Can I do that, please? Yes, you can. For the whatever girl. that was. Or for the fear. For the doggo. Uh, I am not scared anymore. Passes, Good. so it takes cool. half 11 of... Damage. 11 Cool. No, no, 11. no. Oh, yeah, 11 damage. Yeah. yeah. And she is going to use her... It called? She's going to use her magic missiles on Uncle Joe. Cool. Uncle Joe is going to shield. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> fine. I had a feeling you might have shield, but she doesn't like you for everything you've done to her. Of course her. I've got shield. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't have shield. shield. Yeah, that makes sense. It's, I'm, not, I'm not like, I had a feeling uh, you did, but I think she's you're the one she should have fine. targeted. Hoping to kill the frail old man. Vladimir. Is is Lucian resistant to any type of damage? No. Uh, if, you, if you don't no, know, no, no. Glad not at all. Disease. Uh, I know it's very, him. a very tempting hole for a fireball. I, I suggest you don't fireball him if he feels his con save. I disagree. Stick it in his hole. <laughs> do what <laughs> makes the most sense for your character to do. No, uh, Vlad wouldn't. Wouldn't. I, I'm not even thinking about uh, Fireball. I'm thinking about Dawn because the Shadow Masters. But Vlad wouldn't. He's never fought Shadow Masters. So, um, I'll just. I'll move up to to here, eating the attack of opportunity from the uh, Night Hag. Okay. Actually, like this. Okay. She swings her mighty claws. Me. Me. Great. Good job, guys. CR5, everybody. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're great. I'm searching for squares. Searching for squares where I wouldn't hit Lucian. I hope there's no mirrors in there. Otherwise, he'd definitely see a square. Oh. Uh, if I, if I, like, basically shot a fireball right against the wall over here, would I hit all the masters but wouldn't hit Lucian? Uh, if you blast against the wall there, you would hit... Yeah, you'd hit all the the hags, but you wouldn't hit uh, all the mastiffs, but you wouldn't hit Lucian. All right, so no I'm way. gonna do that because, as tempting as it is to hit the hag, I don't want to hit Lucian. Mm. I'll do. Ah, oh, no, I'm not gonna use it again. I'm not gonna do full charges, just because it's good to have one. I'll do five. Says. So 
Um, so it's... Okay, so I need to make three... As 1d6 more, so it's 42. Okay. One... Uh, but it's only a DC 15 deck save. Two... Three, so two of those pass, and the alpha fails. So it the alpha dies. Uh, this one dies. What was that one there? Yes. And the other two take how much? Sorry, damage. Twenty one. Uh, Twenty one. Yeah. All right. The other ones look pretty badly hurt by that as well. Uh, I'll sword the hag with my bonus action. Twenty four for thirteen. Okay. And I'll reroll my spirit guardians, and Vlad's done. Okay. Hello. Uh, Shadow Mastiff. Uh, this one is going to bite Lucian. Uh, one of them's in my spirit guardians. Mm -hmm. I don't okay. Know if you can survive it's, it. uh, it's the alpha that's in the spirit. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, one of them is. Uh, the one I'm talking about now is going to attack Lucian. Uh, it's going to bite. Nom. Obviously misses. Uh, yeah. How much damage was your Spirit Guardians? 25? 25. Half 25 <laughs> is... 12. Is it at 5th level? That's... Yeah. Uh, it's got 12 hit points, so no. It... Bye-bye. Uh, okay. Uh, Dink, it's your go. Uh, Dink will swivel around the corner, have a look in, see the bloodbath. Right. Oh, I'll be really useful today. Uh, so, da, 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 da. bonk. Uh, yep, yeah, you hit that one and you kill it. I haven't rolled anything yet. <laughs> oh, I just—I was looking at my own bite. <laughs> I heard bonk, looked, saw the attack. I assumed you walked up and bit the mastiff. I was... uh, Don't I... argue with the DM, damn it! If he says you hit, you yeah, hit. God damn it! You hit it, you kill it. Fucking people talking over me. Uh, I can move one more square. Bonk. Wow. <laughs> Oof. Wow. Wow. Depressing. It's my go. Uh, anything else? No. All right. Um, Spikes. Did you kind of delete the token that was supposed to go after this? Uh, because I saw two dog tokens on the turn on the end. Yeah, that was the alpha. That was the alpha. It's dead now. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna try to do something different, so... Uh, I'll see how we go. Uh, firstly, I would like to move my spiritual weapon. Okay. Your spiritual weapon can move? Oh, yeah. oh, I was looking at Vladdy's. So it was like, not doing anything. Oh yeah, that hike's still alive. How nice for her. Uh, yeah, it shanks her. She takes thirteen damage. Okay. Uh, that's not the norm. What I try to do is, I am furious at the fight that she won. Her innocent people. Two, torture them. Three. Some of the mouth shut to use them as a trap. So I want. No, 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 no. Ten minutes ago, you said you don't give a fuck about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about their lives. I give about the. I give a fuck about the principle of using it. So I think I have the movement for that. Yeah, you can get to there. I think uh, it's not. I would like to grab her by her lead chair and drag her to the ground, dropping her prone. Uh, a... You can try and make a grapple. You can't. Like, no, you can shove. knock a prone. Yeah. Shove? Can you do a shove? It's, it's, it's her turn directly after yours. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not letting you hold an action. Mm. It's up to you. Hold an action, but she's probably going to miss a step away. Possible. You know, I'm going to try and do something I should. Stop her! Fifth level in thick wound. How? What? Okay. She gets healed by a necrotic damage. <laughs> I don't know. Lots of idiot oh, kills the enemy. That's a good roll. That's a that hurts. There's no tens in there, but a lot of nines. A lot of God. nines. Uh, nine. All right. Why is there a plus four in there? Uh, 
It shouldn't be. I don't know. I'll delete that now. Yeah. So it's forty-eight. Oh, wisdom modifier. Yeah, forty-eight. Yeah, that that looks like it hurts. Like her whole arm necrosizes. She like screeches in agony. Her uh, hash rivels up as all the blood gets drawn out of it. Yeah, it's gross. It's she, gross. she basically she basically dehydrates. So <laughs> so as I try to pull her head down, or I instead drag out all the leeches out of her. Uh, they're still there, still squirming, but yeah, you you drag a lot of the they're life like out of her. As you drag her head towards your crotch, <laughs> <laughs> she shrivels. All right, she is going to go here, here, and here. Typical reaction. <laughs> it's like no means no. Uh, moves to ah, she doesn't need to move there. She's going to stay where she is, and she goes. If I die, everyone dies. And That's not how this works. Cast cloud kill. Uh, twenty foot. Oh, it's twenty foot radius. So it's not as big as I thought it was. So she would probably move. No, it's fireball radius. Yeah, I thought it was larger for some reason. She'd want to get it there so she can. No, not my skeletons. No. no. She wants to kill kill a couple of innocents before she goes out. So she moved uh, up here. Well, here's a question. When would the innocents go? Because They're going to go at the very end of the turn order. They're going zero. Alright. Okay. Can she see where to cast Well, she, she moves up one. It's fine. Casts there. Uh, oh, is, the, uh, is it the oh, other damn it, She needs to get Lucian, no, though. Uh, Lucian. So she'd cast it there. Yeah, just in the corner there. So I need a 20-foot radius thingy. 20 uh, if you use a radius thingy for time, it's probably not gonna hit Lucian because of like a very like diagonal. Like it's gonna hit me, but not Lucian in that way. You see? Uh, no, it's in it's in that's, Lucian Square. Yeah, it's just you yeah. in Lucian Square. Uh, and then she's gonna move back into her little corner. Oh, everyone bitch. dies. Uh, and that's all you she can really do. Really don't. I know. Lucian, uh, make uh, could you make a Constitution save for me? Which you'll pass. Yeah, me. just a second. On what road? Oh, wow. Yes! You fucking... <laughs> Nico. Okay. Now the important one. I was just about to see the C word. That's I, okay. I, I really want because you to see of... another... Another nine there. All the nines. We've called the police, nine. people. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> I kept haste. That's the important thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very important That's thing. the sound of the police. Uh, so you take 20 free poison damage. That's the yep. sound you know, of the cares. police. And... You can start wailing on her. I will in fact do that. Uh, hits for... And I'll add a smite. How do you want to do this? <gasps> I just want to cut her in half. Alright, so you're like, come out of the mist, like you're coughing, like... <laughs> you can see she's like, badly necrosized, like John grabbed her arm, and like, it shriveled up into this like creepy little claw hand and like left her ribs exposed so you sidestep do one like big step swing at that exposed side where she can't defend herself hit her right in the midsection the blade goes all the way through and embeds itself in the stone wall beyond and she <laughs> cut in half and her body parts collapse to the ground <sighs> and she lies dead and she never got to use this ability. Ha! <laughs> oh, we can get their faces back. Ah. Huh. Uh, I will also do nasty things to that dog. Oh yeah. Oh. You I mean, the dog, the dog fades away as it was kind of a construct of the hag, but you can maybe destroy okay. it before it has a chance to. The cloud would go... Oh yeah, through. the cloud definitely also disappears before those people have a chance to take a, a breath of poisoned air in. Squidge. Squidge. Yeah, I think that probably gets it. Yeah, it's, it's gone. It bursts into tiny little pieces. Uh, they all, like, disappear and turn into, like, a faded shadow. And yeah, the hag is no more. Like where she there's was, still, there's just like bubbling. Still a night hag. Oh, there is a night hag. <laughs> All right, uh, Uncle Joe. Joe was gonna take care of her. 
Wait. Oh, oh Lucian runs through. I even I, I forgot about that night hag. I was like, well, she's she's nothing anymore. Once the coven was broken, see what's happening, but not actually be there. Ah, uh, misses. Yeah. Worth a try. Uh, Uncle Joe. It's time to mop up. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Uh, yeah, that, that hits. Will never get old. Or nine. Nine. Oft. Nine. Um, this is gonna well on. Oh god, all the skeletons! No! No! It's the four. Uh, misses. Misses. Hits for five. So, nine more. Mop strikes her in the face. Spencius cuts her legs. I'm not anymore. Five, because the mastiff's dead. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thank you for reminding me. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Well, it's 17, 19. Let's, let's, say, let's say 20 attacks, with, and I'm going to give her the extra AC. Okay, I mean, she's got a 19 AC and 8 hit points. Let's see how she does. <laughs> I think she likes it. She's um, back, I think, on one or two attacks. And I think she's, like, wants to join. One, you know? two, oh, that was pretty... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dead. Two crit. Uh, more could have hit. She feels she, dead. She's already damage. dead. Wait, wait, it's halved. It's halved damage, so it's only 41. 41. Yeah, only 41. Filled with arrows, hacked apart, she falls to her knees in front of Uncle Joe. Her mouth lolls open, and you just shove your mop in there, and the strange, <laughs> thunderous energy goes through her, and her head explodes. And she falls on the Spencius. And I Joe, love watching you work, Joe. It's beautiful. Joe looks at the rest and goes, Right, everyone, short rest before we go on to the proper boss fight, yes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, um, I didn't use that many spells, so I'm good to go. Besides, yeah, I didn't have an action. Actually, I want to well, I wanna have a look at these people and kind of give them some medical. Yeah. Oh, they are all like, night I hikes. I could do with a few <laughs> more hit points. I'll, I'll I, I want to... Basically, I, I think between, between John and me, we can... Get them stable. We can un fucking uh, sew their faces, uh, their their uh, mouths shut. Um, Maybe you right, can speak and I guess magic. Yeah, basically. And um, okay, uh, just, I think you mean I'm to the bathroom because I've been needing to pee for a while. You guys just as soon for a bit. As soon as you undo the stitching on their jaws... What do you mean? We can not RP with the fucking NPCs. We can't. <laughs> it's Thank you out. for saving me, please. Take these five million gold pieces I just happen to have ah, in my pocket. but of course! I am your saviour! <laughs> my face! By, ah! by the way, I am the queen of Vasselheim, and you are now allowed to fight in the streets as much as you want. <gasps> also, you can bring your skeletons, skeletons into the city crazy. as much as you want. Uh, Why are you guys <laughs> acting out of this in front of these poor people? Here's six plus two long swords. <laughs> I think they're getting a bit mad, like me. Joe's gonna collect up the bones from his um, somewhat broken up skeletons. He'll put oh. them back together when he gets home. Oh. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm I just, going I just to stare at these people. I don't know what medicine is. Like, oh. yeah, I'm so gonna honestly. Yeah, the thing is, healing magic aside from heal and like regeneration is gonna do scarring, but whatever. Uh, they don't well, deserve I that. Mean, I mean, we can stabilize them while we uh, get their mouth. Stabilize? I can just bring them back from the dead if they're dying, but like if they're not back. <laughs> well, uh, yes, but m mostly we we're gonna like get their mouths un like unsoon and. Uh... So they can tell us where the loot is. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. And uh, then since, I mean, I, I, yeah, the ability from the hacks said that you can get your face back with a heal spell, so over the next couple of days, Vlad will get these people's faces back. <laughs> Return oh. their faces. I'm going to yeah, but I, 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 I was going to uh, kind of start w together with John with some healing magic, get the um, get it so they can open their mouths again. Yeah, yeah I mean, oh, you can actually just, like, has... cut them out the way, and they open their mouths. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're just blubbering. Um, you know, they've gone through... They're very traumatized, even It's though... alright, it's alright. How many of them have their face off? Um... <laughs> four. Four of them are missing faces. Uh, you also notice there are faces, like, all over the wall. Um, they're kind of gibbering and, like, whimpering. Um, 
Well, they're, they're <laughs> I like turn them around and like, which, which, I'm sorry, but which of these faces is yours? They look like they have no idea. <laughs> Joe, Joe moves right. over here. Ah, uh, you you do not get me. to take a short rest if that's what you're you're trying to do right now. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No Joe problem. comes uh, over here and goes. I I would me. like to. I would I'm, like. I'm being distracting as the skeletons go and start stuffing faces into their bags. <laughs> um, okay, so while you guys are thinking about doing this stuff, um, once the hag dies, a couple of seconds, like a minute or so later, you start to notice the the walls around you are bleeding. Um, like blood is just kind of drooling out of the walls, and kind of as you notice this, like a large chunk of the roof, like falls away and lands to the ground with a wet, sloshy, <laughs> and you can see it's like a, a large chunk of like dead flesh has fallen off the ceiling. Uh, so, Joe, am I getting your skeletons into your bag? I think we're gonna need to get. Out it's of not like quickly. falling apart like in a in a super big hurry, but you get the feeling right, stuff is Lucian. starting to break apart. Uh, Lucian, lose I, the hag. I'll I'll turn to the sure. civilians. I'm like, all right, so this place is. Kind of falling apart, not quickly, but please, everyone, get up and make a here. way out of there's, here. There's, yeah, there's a door over here, guys. Boss fight. Joe's Joe, gonna could quickly. You get everybody, all, all the civilians in your little road trip thing. Maybe that does that doesn't transport. It just stays where it is. Well, I mean, I it's better than them getting like drowned in flesh, it's blood stuff. Forever. They would just stay here, and then uh, they can walk. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I I help them up and. Uh, uh, if we need, if we need to do any healing spells to get them like Joe's movable, we will. Yeah, um, maybe, yeah, maybe you expend helping. like just two cure wounds each should be enough All to right. get the the wounded ones kind of moving. Yeah. Uh, other like because I have child divinity preserve life, but it's only oh, yeah. if they are actually already very hurt. Uh, yeah, that would work too. You could use that, and that would get them all moving. Yeah. Matt, so we uh, twenty three to search the hags for anything. Okay, uh, I mean, they they are, as far as you can tell, like, naked, uh, but there are a couple of odds and ends around the room. Uh, one second, I need to roll on something. Okay. So, what did you get? So, roll 2d10? Just, just roll them, yeah. But one after the other would be easier if that's okay. Okay. Uh I'll do that. That's a nat one. Yeah. And a nat one. Damn. Fuck me. Okay. Yes. Re roll re roll Matt. the re roll the nat one, please. Which one? <laughs> Just re roll on one. There we go. Okay. Two. <laughs> Two. Good. You find, uh kinda of looking around, there's a lot of like little things My in God. corners and stuff. But you do find there's an eye in a pres preserved in a a liquid-filled jar. Is the liquid and formaldehyde? You, well, you're not sure, but when you see the eye, it's looking okay. like the eye is kind of moving around. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's darting around in panic, like the eye, the eye is uh, panically dark, it darting this way, that way, Joel, this way as well. Joel, could I, could I have that? I have Fuck me. off! Okay. <laughs> uh, could I? Your healing thing. And Oops. you also see there's a leathery preserved head of a dwarf with a, a five foot long beard. Well, that's a big beard for a dwarf. Do you pick the dwarf up or have a look at it? Oh, I was going to put them in a bag, yeah. Alright, so when you pick up the leathery preserved head of the dwarf, you like grab it by the beard. And suddenly you're seeing through the eyes of the dwarf. Oh... Cool, that will help when I'm shaving. <laughs> if I ever shave. Hmm, Alright, so you put that in there. Once I let go of it, do, am I still seeing through its eyes? No, no, once you let go of the beard, uh, you can no longer see through its eyes. When I was looking for its eyes, did it seem like it had not, uh, dark vision? No. Um, actually, it had the vision of a dwarf, so... Uh, I mean, no, no, you can't. Uh, see through its eyes. You could, like, put hair gel in the beard and use it as a periscope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, and you guys gather by this door, kind of helping the the wounded along with you. Yeah, uh, I would like to ask assistance someone to drag the blood. After behind. someone checks it, the to and stuff, please. I mean, the blood uh, rag yeah. is just a, like a terrible like body. Like it, there's nothing on it, and it's just like bubbling there, like breaking apart. Yeah, I still want to take it first. My eye would not. Fucking hell, John! It. Priorities. Come on. 
I get to have my second water skin. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, this is some the last blood. Since, I guess since Joe looked for traps, I'll... Uh, since Joe looked for loot, I'll look... Yeah, you might want to stand back a bit. Oh yeah. He hasn't got the best record with doors, right, Joe. so, written on the door, does anybody speak, uh, Sylvan? Yes. Yeah. I did. Uh, written yeah, on the door like is, in Sylvan, a, a phrase that basically translates to is it better to do evil for good or to uh, do evil by doing good? Kind of a rough yes. translation. Basically, like, is it better to like do the right thing but cause a bad reaction or do the wrong thing for the right reasons? The reasoning is intentional. What it's matters is principle, what matters is reason. John, what... stop arguing with the door! Just <laughs> open it! <laughs> Checking for traps, John! God! Oh, Checking right. for traps. You, you open up the door. It's fine, it's not trapped. Oh. You open up the door, uh, and inside uh, is another of these sort of long corridors. Uh, darkly lit. Um, yeah, that stretches out ahead of you. I'm just removing the door now. And yeah, they're kind of around you. In here, it seems like the decay is happening a little slower um, than kind of the room you were just in, like it's being held apart a little better. There's more! Okay, you uh, you move inside, Sun Globe kind of illuminating as you go. You see there's a lot of faces uh, in here, more like weird bits and bobs kind of scattered around the place. Matt, uh, can you move my skeletons because I accidentally put them inside the wall over there? <laughs> Sure. Uh, I would like to be looking for traps along the way. Sure. Uh, yeah, you don't find any traps uh, as you kind of move along. And you move in. And eventually, if you stop uh, a little uh, before the ending, on this wall here are hung up Sorry. two of these faces. <clears throat> so two faces are there, uh, both with very similar sort of features. <clears throat> and as you approach uh, the faces, these ones don't scream. Uh, they go... Um, Who's there? Knock, uh, knock! Wait, that's not how it works. I'm, I'm Dank. Hello, Dank. Hi, Dank. Says the other one. I will pass. How's it hanging? That's not funny. It's a little <laughs> funny. <laughs> so, uh, your faces? Yes. You, uh, still have a body somewhere? Just beyond. And Why you can see actually you? down at the bottom there, there are two, um, two figures chained to, uh, the wall. Uh, both of them are kind of, like, hanging there, um, just a little bit so, beyond. So, uh, why are you here? We are the Hag's prisoners. Well, so were the other ones, but they were in a different room. Joe why is going to use... special room? Uses free casting of detect uh, evil and good. All right, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. No, the casting you... fails, or he doesn't detect it. You your casting fails. Like you attempt to cast a spell and it fizzles out. Guys, oh. my magic isn't working. Uh, I attempt to firebolt the wall just to the side, just to see if it works. Your magic doesn't work. It fizzles out. Are my skeleton still working? Um, you look over uh, and your skeletons are just uh, staring kind of vacantly. Uh, like the magic that's animating them is kind of fizzling out. Uh, the soul solution so no longer glow because it's still oh, You're in an anti-magic. You get the feeling you're in a, an anti-magic sort of space. Joe's going to put them back in the bag, but the reason I haven't deleted the tokens off is because obviously they've got injuries and that yeah, one. Yeah, I understand. I'll move yeah, them. Just, yeah. they're, in the, they're in the back. Yeah, here's the thing. I did summon Gertrude as I was going down there, but what point did she disappear if she did? Uh, just yeah, now. She well. pops out of existence on your shoulder. So, uh, why are you here in the uh, anti-magic area instead of in the normal area? Uh, face. One of the faces goes, because of him. And the other face goes, um, are you really oh, going to still hold this it. against me? Right, like, who, who are you? Where are you from? Where were you? Who were you before uh, Evil Hag imprisoned you in face dungeon? Uh, one of them goes, I'm, I'm nobody. 
I'm just, I'm a name. Nobody. I, I get it. It's fine. Wow, that's really friend. that's really insensitive. You might joke, it's not our fault. I am I am Ellen I am Ellen uh he give I am generic elf name. <laughs> I'm a potato farmer. I am Ellen DeGeneres. Uh. <laughs> Vladimir, give me this guy's name. He is a 500-year-old potato farmer. Oh. Ellen Botgen. Yep. Uh, his name is... Uh, Spudley um, Mash... Chip. Wis Wisroon Poddlewalk. I'm Wisroon Poddlewalk. And the okay. other one goes, I am Pontius Claw. Does that mean anything to me? Uh, roll a history check for me. Can I roll uh... insights to get just like some due to... Could I join in the history part? check? Joel, if this is Joel, Joel, does that mean this, does this, this name mean anything to you? I have been just, around just roll individual history checks time. and see what, see what your yeah. character knows. Uh, what is the name? Yeah. Yes, yeah, John... Elven Culture's math thing. Oh. You... You Bad you, you vaguely recognize remember the name you read about it once um, about two hundred years ago, there was a elf called uh, Pontius Claw. It was like a name he a moniker he took effectively. Uh, who in Wildmount was responsible for uh, effectively mass killings. Uh, he was a powerful wizard and servant of Vecna, who uh, was responsible for servant just... of Vecna. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, responsible for for hundreds of deaths. Wait, I've remembered your name. You're a you're a, um, famous uh, public worker who did charity no, work all the way about. Yes. No, that <laughs> no, that me. He's a famous murderer, a Vecna cultist. Well, John, I think it's your world to get word against mine in this situation. <laughs> who is a sage and who is a pauper? Sorry. Who is a sage and who is a pauper? Basically, I'm a historian, and you are a pop. A pop Don't talk to me like Sorry, that. John? Not very nice. Do you, you want to? Do you want to die? Is that what you're telling me? No, I'm you telling want to you. Insult you insult me. But you're insulting me that my word is not not more worth than you. What? <laughs> that is not the insult you fuck with. <laughs> FYI, that was an insult. Yeah, that was. That an was insult. an insult. Yes, just. No, I, th I, think was, I think that was an accurate summary. I don't know whether that counts as an insult. Anyway, I'm just fucking. I, I was just yeah. fucking with all of you. I have no idea who this. I, man is, I so thought I spending was 200 fine, years but... trapped in this basement was bad alone, with no one but him. And now I'm begging for it back. So, so um, uh... I could use your face as a washcloth to scrub my bollocks. How about you show a little respect, elf boy? <laughs> Carefully, it might be able to bite. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Too Joe, much. I am. I. It is not often that I am speechless. <laughs> but <laughs> that uh, statement was. Damn, Joe, that was like best thing you've ever said ever, and that's saying something. I think that's I... the best thing anyone's ever said ever. <laughs> this is uh... why I'm the public relations side of the Slayer's take. Yep. Yeah. I'm confused and aroused. <laughs> um, anyway, right, so this guy's he's, a fucking he's what, evil, evil, uh, mass murderer asshole, so, uh, what, we kill him? Yeah. Well, firstly, bloke, do you have any worthwhile information or meaning for us staying here and talking to your disembodied face, or are you just wasting our time? I have nothing to offer you. Okay, bye. Wait, no, no, so, don't, uh, don't leave me. <laughs> why, why is, the, yeah, why, why are you here? Other person. Why am I here? Yes. Because of this bastard. What? The a hag, more detail, detail, the hag grabbed me because I have the same basic body shape as him. She thought it'd be funny to lock Can us I up together. Check that face. Yeah, sure. It's disadvantage because it's a face, but. Well, I can only facial expression. It has no it's eyes it's or an it has face. No tongue. Nice. Yeah, he, he he sounds like very hard done by and like yeah, like honestly like. I'm just an innocent fellow who is here, and I've been here, and it's horrible. Like, there's despair and, like, anguish in his voice. And, like, from further down, you can hear, like, uh, like 
moaning from the like two bodies of these two faces. And he goes, She put me here as some sort of sick hag joke. She carved out my eye and took off my face and has left me in here for 200 years. Is your eye very panicked by any chance? I may have spied it. Um, ha, spied the eye. No. Uh, so, sorry, uh, what, did I, what, what exactly did I get from the inside? Like, she, she's being honest? He seems oh, honest, she, yeah. The, yeah. Like, this one seems honest enough. Yeah, they both uh, which, do. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, one of them, like, I, I look at the one who's allegedly a mass murdering Vecna cultist, I'm like, so, uh, are you a mass murderer? It's, goes, that is what some have called me. All right, so, um, I look at the other face, I'm like, which of the bodies is yours? I don't know. I'm disconnected right. from it, I can't even see. Uh, any any embarrassing birthmarks or moles that you have? No. The hag told me the only reason she took me is because she knew I was a good person and because I looked this very similar to Pontius. It's her idea of a sick joke. Hmm. I don't really get her sense of humor, to be honest. I think, yeah, I don't either. I think the whole thing here is that we're supposed to take one of the bodies... To save them, but we don't know which is which. Um, I'm gonna have a quick look at bodies just to check them out. I, I would right. like to go over to the bodies. So there are these two men um, chained up. Um, both of them are uh, just wearing like a simple like tunic, effectively. Uh, they're both chained to the wall. They're both alive, uh, but they have like I think yeah, they both have one eye, so they can see you. Um, and right. they both have tongues, although they don't seem to really be able to, like, make coherent sounds. It's almost like some sort of so, power uh, is stopping them. And yeah, they're both looking at you, and they both look very, very similar. Do they seem like they can talk? Um, no. Although you can see they have tongues uh, and everything. You think it might be part of the magic that is, like, keeping them at, in this place. Joe, Joe, could you come over here? You're better at investigating things than oh. I am. Uh, where are, who are, what? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, no. Well, am I heading the wrong way? You're going uh, the right way. You're going the right, yes. Uh, could you help me investigate their bodies? Any differences between the two bodies that we can ascertain? Calluses on their hands, difference in uh, teeth color, difference in uh, anything, well, really. Well, one was maybe a potato farm, but the other was a one, mass man. One Probably said... Wouldn't. Yes, one said that they were a farmer, so I would like to check their hands for yes. the wear and tears of manual labor. Okay. Could, could I assist him? Sure. You I, check that one. I assumed Vlad was assisting him because I literally called yeah, him over Vlad, here. Vlad is assisting. We kind of were just, doing I was just thing. saying that. No, I was just That's saying, yes, you have assistance. All right. Um, neither of them really have... The thing is, if they were a potato farmer before, that was 200 years ago. So... Like, whatever calluses were on their hands have been, like, removed from being a prisoner for 200 years. Uh, but yeah, they both have very similar hands. Do you want to try communion, Vladimir? Yes, I would like to get out of here and try communion, although I... Guys, do we... We need, do we need to do this? Can't we just move on? No, one of these people is an innocent. Joe's gonna pinch one of the body's arms yeah. and go shout back at the faces, Can either of you feel that? No... No. Um, I, I'm afraid that commune won't work because of the anti-magic field. I do not know if Iyun is able to peer into this place. I, we can try. We could um, always take them out of this space. Hmm. I'm afraid if one of them is a powerful Vecna cultist, I'm afraid that the second we take him out of here, he will vanish. Then we tie their hands. How about we cut their faces off? Hold on. Off and... Hold on. The door had a riddle upon it. Is it either better to do a good thing by acting evil, or to do an evil thing by acting good? I don't. I do not think it is riddle. This simple moral question: Is it better to kill both of those people to make sure that the cultist does I not say survive? It's, I say it's better to kill both people. I disagree. I also disagree. We have an innocent person here who we might be able to save. Exactly, and we, we, and have, we have plenty more people we could doom. Sean, we, we have not exhausted our options yet. 
I'm not good. saying we have, I'm just saying we should not take this like Oh yeah, we can save everyone. We can't save everyone. We can't save Finn. Fuck oh, off. I never don't really bring, even don't tried. Don't bring Finn up, John. Um... Alright. Um... I'm gonna go outside of the anti-magic field. Okay. Uh, when you and get I'm... to where the anti-magic field, the room sort of ended, uh, yeah, there's blood all over the ground. It's drooling down. The walls are starting to break apart. Uh, this area seems to be like maybe the heart of her little domain here, and it's lasting longer. Uh, but outside, it's really like just coming apart at the seams. Joe's gonna Flop. quickly toddle uh, after Vlad. And go, Vlad, Vlad, Vlad. Yes. I, I think that these bodies are. Uh, probably in here to suppress the magic of the one on the cultist. We could drag the bodies out here one at a time and detect magic on the actual body. Because I imagine potato farmers don't possess a lot of I magic. Th I, I think the problem is that the bodies are still sentient, and if we get him out of here, he uh. could cast magic. Uh, let me just look at something real quick. Hold on, does. All right, so commune takes a minute if I cast it with a special. Does it like looking around? Does it seem like we have a minute, or is it just? Uh, you've like, got a minute this... in this room. the The room outside is going to be a little more like you're literally going to be standing in sludge that's like, going to be melting. Do I your have feet. A, Do I have a minute in in a room where I can cast magic? Uh yes. All right, so I take a minute to cast commune using a spell slot because otherwise it would take ten, which you know. Yeah. And I would. I I, w I want to ask. Um, uh, looking from my perspective, is the left body chained to the back of that wall the body of a Vecna cultist? Or the m body of a mass murderer? Uh, you get no answer. Not in a case of um, the, the spell hasn't worked, but in a case of it doesn't know. I, I, I kind of feel you'd, you'd know that when you win. It's more of a case of... Yeah. You just hear this strange muttering in the back of your head going... I don't know uh, what the fuck you're talking about. How uh, am I supposed to answer this shit? Where are it's, you? Uh, um, this is not an ideal place question, to be. My, my second question is, is there anything you can do uh, to help us find out which body the Vecna cultist is? Um... Yes. While Vlad's doing this, Joe's going to check the bodies for tattoos and markings that may label them as a potato farmer. Because as you know, they're, they're always labeled potato farmers. Yeah. There's a big tramp stamp on one of them of a potato. It's a Mr. Potato Head tramp stamp. I knew it! I immediately <laughs> kill that body. Oh god, let me, let me look, at, look at something real quick. Um... I'll I will look at the potato farmer, and I will say to him, "Is there anything that you can remember about your body that no one else would notice?" Uh, I was circumcised. Ha! So was I. Uh, anything else, like a birthmark, maybe? No, I mean she literally picked out me because I looked so similar. Ugh. Well, we also got to be all the same and stuff. It's confusing. I, I, that's, I mean, you know, she picked me out of a lot of it. Um, we're not all identical. Before, before the commune spell is over, so before I have asked my last question, mm -hmm. um, actually, I, I don't know what to ask with my last question. I don't... Pff. Um... Is one of these people truly a mass murderer? Yes. Alright. I'm gonna try divine intervention. Okay. Nope. Nope. Um, you sort of try and reach out to your god, but uh, it cannot get through the kind of barriers. In which case, place. I will try something else. Um, I will... Oh god, how long does, does this take? Magic doesn't solve everything. Yeah, I'm not the wizard looking <laughs> at ma well magic in a way. Um, smart, but it's hard when you think. Um, do I feel like I could somehow, with some effort, get ten minutes in a place where I can cast magic? Uh, no. 
Like, you sort of think that, you look around, and part of the wall, like, breaks in, and just blood comes gushing out. It's actually up around your knees by now. Joe's going to approach the face of the... Well, the two faces, and he's going to address the social farmer. He's going to say, We're in a quandary here. We have the face of a potato farmer. That would be you. And we have no, the face... No, it's, it's not. Denk swapped me around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got bored. Very Sorry. honest of you, Mr. Mass Murderer. Anyway, we have the face of a potato farmer, we have the face of a mass murderer. Uh, are you willing to sacrifice yourself so that others may not suffer? Ooh. Or would you rather risk others being hurt so that you may receive your body back? I'm asking you, instead of us making this decision for you, to decide yourself. There's, there's but that's a, the mature thing to do. Yeah, it's true. No, it's, that is true. Uh, there's, there's a, a long pause and goes. He, don't, he, don't rush your decision. It's. He I mean, I realize you've been down to two hundred. I, I know he's terrible, but I want to see my kids again. I want to know what happened to them. I, oh, oh, I'll die. You, you want to see what's left of them? What okay. happened to I my mean, kids? It's been two hundred years. They, they'd have grandkids by now. They're pr they are probably still. Yeah, so you think you think that seeing your great grandchildren is worth risking the lives no, of it's many the, innocents? He, he I die, thereby but... judge you to be an evil, evil man. <laughs> Potatoes have clearly corrupted you. What? <laughs> For love of God. I mean, he's oh. not sound. And Joe's, Joe's going to return to his supply and go, you all heard it. He's more evil than the mass murderer. <laughs> you can hear the uh -huh. mass murderer is like laughing. Like, <laughs> oh my god! It was, I like that it, man. It was a catch twenty two. He couldn't. He he could either say yeah, keep destroy my body, or basically just be a massive asshole. <laughs> basically, Joe just really fucked him over with a simple question. What's your alignment? I feel like it might shift. <laughs> I mean. You're asking what the necromancer's alignment is? A uh, chaotic good. Oh, I think it might be chaotic neutral now. <laughs> he intends good. Like, wanting less lives to die is not bad, no matter. Like, oh, yeah, you no, have no, to kill the, two the people. The catch 22 I thing is pretty messed up. <laughs> but I'm only him an honorable way to opt out of this, and he was he's, very selfish. And... He's a simple man, he wants to see his children. <laughs> No, he doesn't. He wants to see his great grandchildren. He's aware that his children are dead. No, How much is an elf? Elf. They're probably no, 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 he's an elf. Yes. I will personally go and kill his children before reattaching his face. There we go, quandary over. Can we just kill them both? I think that's a more noble thing to do if we can't what? be sure which is which. If we I just kill them both, we are sure their father, the that evil is dead. We'll just leave them here. I wonder if there's there is no way, way to get out of here. No, <laughs> Vladimir, you can wonder till the end of your life. We need to do something. John, shut the fuck up and let me talk, you fucking asshole. Um, I wonder if there is a way to determine which of them was what after they die. I don't think so from the bodies. I have inspected them thoroughly, inside and out. I mean, if I, you if you well, killed them and took the bodies with you, you could maybe cast speak dead on thing, them. Here's the thing: if we Mm. Yes. Also, if we if we heal body, face the face will grow back. In which case, we can ascertain which of the two bodies was the mass murderer. The two are practically I, identical. Judging the by the faces spell, are not. Judging by the, the bodies spell, are. Judging by the spell, I don't think the faces are actually just faces. The fact that they are conversing with us with the person's personality makes me think that there's probably a little more to it. And if you grow a face on those bodies, what you'd have is most likely a comatose body with a newly grown face on it. Of course, and then we could resurrect the body. The body will still be alive. I don't think it would. Because we're the killing bodies them. Bodies are... are no, no, no. Oh. You miss I, I think the body and the face both have sentience. We have to kill both the body and the face. Now. Basing this on of one of the faces goes. Actually, I just have the memory some personality of it. I'm not connected anymore. It's like, would you shut up? It's like, no. There you go. The faces are just. We're just animated effects. objects. I say we kill the bodies, take both of them out with us, 
use he a combination of heal or maybe speak with that to find out which is which and resurrect the one that isn't the mass murdering Vecna cultist. I'm more than willing to spend the money on it. <laughs> Joe's going to take out... Lie. Joe's going to yeah. take out the eye and see if there's anything about the eye because Sean just keeps pinging it in chat. <laughs> uh, the eye is freaking out and looking around in a panic. Can either of you faces see me through this eye? Oh, oh. that makes total sense. Duh. Can't uh, got about that. Uh, uh, no. Good. He puts it's it back in his I... bag and goes, See, whichever god was chiming at me, shut the fuck up. Nothing I... to do with the eye. Uh, does the, does the, um... Yeah, the, who's, which one of them Vecna? is looking? Yeah, does the Vecna cultist face say anything about being able to look through the eye? I can't see through the eye. I think that's a cleric eye that freaks out around undead. Yeah. Oh, it's a good thing that Joe would keep hold of that. Then. <laughs> does he have to roll deception against my inside? <laughs> I doesn't seem to be lying. I think I think my plan is uh, the the least we can do to at least after we kill them attempt to get the one that isn't a horrible person back. I don't Gosh. disagree that we have to kill them both for now, but I don't think it stops there. We can't can't know. How are we getting out of this place? Killing them seems a little extreme. Why don't we just tie them up and take them? <sighs> I'm, I'm afraid, Lucian. Vecna is a god of secrets. His cult has so many magics that go beyond what we understand. It could be that they are... They can still get away after we tie them up, or even after we mute them or anything else. So you're, you're willing to definitely kill someone just on the off chance that some uh, cultist from 200 years and, ago might know some magic that would allow and him to escape. Resurrect, and resurrect them later. I'm of the opinion that they should both forfeit their lives for the greater good. Denk, at this point, Denk will pull out a coin and be like, <laughs> well guys, we can't decide. Shall we let fate? No. Well, that one was decided pretty easily. <laughs> mm. I look at moral Lucian, what, 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 what's your What is your suggestion? We tie them up and let them both out. Tie them up, gag them. Therefore, they can't uh, cast any kind of magic to escape. We bring them out to where we have, where we might actually be able to use magic to identify which is which. We can't stay here for much longer. This place is falling apart. Oh. It's true. Yeah, the actual... Even this room, with its, like, magical defenses, uh, some of the walls are starting to bleed. And as you kind of watch, the, the kind of flesh starts to rip. <sighs> I could put the bodies in the bag of I holding. I, I say if we, if we kill them both and resurrect one of them, it has a higher chance of working. In the end, they will still be alive. Just dead for a short period of time, which is unfortunate, but... It's not the end for them. What happened to all those people that we left in the other room? Did they they're, just, they're just they're very just awkwardly around. standing in corner. Yeah, they, they're shaking, they look terrified, but they're not, like, engaging. You there, oh, random, you're annoying me. Random, Thanks. incredibly fat woman, what do you think we should do? I think we should kill this necromancer piece of shit who called me fat. Uh, um, I don't know. It's terrible being in here, like, you can't leave them here. Even if they're oh, awful. Speaking of being in here, can Denk try and find an exit? Or we get to have to go through the spike room? Uh, I mean, there actually isn't an exit from this room now. Like, where there was a door before, there's just kind of like a big scab that is bleeding into the room. Uh, I, feel like this whole, I feel like this whole thing might be a fucking ruse from the hag. But there's no way of knowing. Shall I we think... just get their faces, stick them on random ones, and if there's a Vecna cultist, he'll be like, oh, lol, and then we'll I die, and who the, cares? The faces, the faces are just animated objects. They are nothing. They have the memory of the person, but they're not actually connected to the bodies anymore. I, th I think we need to possibly think more about getting out alive. Okay. Can someone have a look for some hidden doors? Because I can't, because I'm we done. we need to go back, I can't get us back. I have word of recall. Well, some of us. us. Well, not, not the if we get in this room. Yes. 
If we can get out of this room for a short enough time, I can cast it. And if most of us that the overflow can get into Joe's bag and hold their breath for about, I don't know, a minute, it only takes six seconds we can get out. I don't think my bags will work in this room, by the way. Yep. Also yeah. true. Yeah, when you stick your hand in your bag and you, you can't pull anything out of it, it's just a normal bag at the moment. So is this entire corridor anti-magic was like an end bit that still has magic -y? Um, this, this entire corridor is anti magic uh, It's the only reason that it's not fallen apart quite yet. You get the feeling this is almost like, um, I don't know, like maybe this is where the hag spent most of her time like cackling and plotting and it's kind of got the longest lifespan after her, her death and her magic begins to break it apart. All right, I say I say we vote now, so we make a decision, and then we get the fuck out of here, however we can. I, whoever is for killing them both now and then resurrecting the one that is innocent after finding out which one it is, say I, I. All right. So that's two. Whoever is for. Not killing either of them and just getting them out, say I. Aye. After tying them up and gagging them. That is one. And whoever is for just killing both of them and leaving them for the dead? I don't oh, know. No, that's what I, wanted this to vote for. I was voting for that one. I got confused. <laughs> then the eyes what have it. Ex exp explain to me what the problem with resurrecting the innocent one later is. It's difficult to judge. It is indeed. It's... It won't necessarily what work. Do you mean? What do you mean it, it is difficult to judge? They you resurrect be... someone, they say, oh, I'm an innocent man. No. Speak with dead. Speak not with dead on the body. From lying. Uh -huh. John, John, we heal the face so the face grows back. And then they we look identical. See. The bodies look identical. The faces do not. The, the faces look very, very similar. Well, like, they identical. look near the identical. identical. What can you do? You can't save everyone, bloody. It's more the fact as well that the faces might not look identical, but you don't know who looks like what. You're gonna heal them with scar tissue anyways. They'll look different, but you won't be able to tell why. You also actually I like. I know. Weird. I know you read Heal Magic Works. It. You don't actually know that. I should have I mean, yeah, and I don't have it prepared either. Next, next level, uh, next few levels, we get regenerate, so that definitely works. I also have a ring of regeneration. Yeah, but I don't you think go. you have an hour for them to attune to it, unfortunately. No, I don't have it with me. Rothfuss got it at the moment. <sighs> All right. Um, so no, I think the more pressing matter is how we're going to get out of here. Yes. But that's... I, well. The the votes for killing both of them and just leaving them here for dead win, yes? Yes. By the looks of it. All right. Do it I then. would rather not risk the lives of everyone. What if this was a supremely powerful cultist who, despite being bound and gagged, was still able to cast a spell? You don't know. Look, what if that people of crazy shit. and they took on the role of masquerading as one? I don't know. It's better not to risk it. Yes. Whatever you tell yourselves. Self-claimed potato farmer. Hmm? Biff, biff. Dead, dead. I imagine. Oh, so Denk, you're just gonna kill them both? Yep. Alright, so Denk gets his maul. Um, there's kind of a... Wait, wait, no! <laughs> Here's the solution. Hit both of them once. Only the uh, powerful mass-murdering cultist will survive. Alright, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> I don't think that's. Normal. I mean, you either cave their skull in or you don't. Like, this is I thing. mean, that's not how D and D works. They're, they're both on, on one hit point. <laughs> I, love, I love the fact Dink walks up to one, caves its skull in, it just sprays all over the floor, blood and things. Looks up at Blad, sort of like, oh, let's see. Walks over <laughs> to the other one, caves its skull in as well, and just blood guts everywhere. Looks up at Blad and goes, both, both potato farmers. Yep. <laughs> swings so swings yep. full force into go. one. Its head is mush. It turns it falls full force into the other. And it takes eighteen points of damage and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, Dank, do you just cave them in? Uh, yep. Yeah, I will say sorry about these chaps, but we've got people we need to look after here and at home. 
and I will. Someone who's not entirely reliant on spells, please call the faces as well. All right. So I, can, I, can I, don't, I don't think we should small. leave them here to just stare at their dead bodies for the rest of eternity. So Joe's thank gonna you. kill. Joe's gonna ki kill the potato farmer, but not the evil cultist face, because it's not really the evil co cultist. Yeah. It's just a. Well, when when Denka caves their heads in, like the faces, like the the mag whatever magic is in them breaks apart, and they kind of just stop moving. Uh, I, st I still mop them because I want to click my mop thing so everybody can read the funny stuff I wrote. All right. Um... Uh, well, stuff happens. Uh, so you bring up the the hammer. One of the heads caves in. Uh, as soon as you cave one of the heads in, the uh, the other one's head just also pops, and you can actually see the chains they were connected by uh, like flare for a second. That's like the, whatever you did to that one seems to be pressed upon the other as well. So well, there we go, gentlemen. Both their heads, like, pop. And as that happens, whatever magic ward was around this room seems to flick off, and blood and gore just falls in around you like a tide being held back by a dam. And you are covered in yeah. gore and blood. You don't have a chance to say anything, to move. It's instantaneous. It just pours in. There's a few, like, seconds of, like... Once, once again, Lucian, you are completely engaged in blood for the second time today. And so all of you fourth are time. <laughs> fourth time. and all of you are spat out of the well that you uh, you went into earlier. Whee! Yeah, you just come flying out. You land on the ground, and you lie <laughs> coughing up uh, blood uh, outside on the in the clearing that you started at. As you sort of bring yourselves up, look around, um, Lucian. With your kind of weird, like, magic vision, you notice that the infection that seemed to cover the land, the magical uh, infection, begins to, like, fade and dim, and the forest takes on a less oppressive feel. Um, where before the trees seemed to, like, loom over you, um, now they just seem like normal trees. And yeah, you have been well. expelled. I think killing the hag was a good thing, at least. Yes. Yep. Good bit of gardening. How are the other like survivors? Are they picking with yeah, us? Yeah, they're, they're all spat out as well. Like bleh, bleh, bleh. Uh, Are they human elves? I would like to ask them. Like, where do they need to go? What homes they have? Um, they should come with, uh, they should come with us. Sure. Mostly human. Uh, they should come with us. We have. We can probably find some way to get at least their, their faces at least. Yeah. So uh, like Vladdy, you mobile. notice that one of the two bodies um, that you caved its skull in is also being expelled and is lying on the ground. Take a look at it. Yeah, as like heads caved in, it's a, a dead body. Dink smashed its skull in. Only one of them? Only one of them. Hmm. You're going to do some magic shit. You um, can risk it if you want. I'm sure a hag would make sure that the good guy got out. Mm. Perhaps they're the same person. You know Still what? Possible. I have known potato farmers that grew up to be... What's when I say grew up to be potato farmers, but, you know, they had the potential to be mass murderers. I'd I'd like to cast speak with dead on the body. Okay. Joe's or the dead one? Can you click speak uh, with dead for me? Both. <laughs> oh, where the? Speak with Hell, dead. Now I'm being controlled by this crazy ass lich. Let me see. What what level is it? I have third. so many spells and third. so many prepared and unprepared. It's third level. Very uh, sure. Oh. There it is. It's just. Do you have it prepared? I believe so. Let me. Uh, I don't. J uh, John, do you have it prepared? No, I don't. I think it's knowledge clerics who always have that prepared. Yeah. Um. We could take a long rest. What's right here? No, I don't think right here. I kind of want to get back to normalcy. Let's get back to Vasselheim. God, that was a big word for me. Bloody do you, hell. Do you want to... Should we? What should we do with the body? 
take it with us. We can do. It. We can. Denk, Denk will like uh, take his like bedroll, wrap up body, carry it in his arms. I'll All right. Pour some holy water on it just in case. <laughs> does it start sizzling? Uh, no, it does not start. No, sizzling. Lovely. All right, you you carry the body with you and you um, take it back. Um, uh, Lucian, for, can... for a moment when you look at the body, uh, you swear it has a face, uh, a face you recognize, uh, but then you realize it was uh, Talia's face, and uh, <laughs> you kind of put your eyes and it's it's gone. Uh, you need to go back to Auntie Elderflower first. Just so you guys yeah. know. Yeah, we do. It's How fine. Many you can fast travel there. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't. We don't need to use World of Recall. One. One thing. Uh, I. We'll see if we can sort this body thing out before we visit out Auntie El- Elderflower because you might have an interest with it. Okay. If you cool. me. I think I think we can ask her for help. There's a good chance she can cast Speak with Dead in some way, shape, or form. Well, maybe she'll want it for her own needs. She seemed rather shifty when I saw her. And she is she's I... a hag. She's, of course, rather shifty. I don't know what she wants with this body, though. I don't think she would want anything. Well, People didn't know it was there. If suddenly turn up with a body of a all-powerful, mighty necromancer, she might be like, Oh, I'll have that off you. She, she does like the bodies that... of all powerful necromancers. She's after uh, my body. Yeah. I do fear that this. Uh, <laughs> she's after your body, Joe. That's no question. But okay. I do fear that indeed this body is of that farmer and the necromancer is still somehow alive. Well, well, we necromancer don't, we don't know that. Cast. We don't know that. But I'm. We should have the bodies. Well, let, let's hurry things along. Like we we can get to the hag's hut. Uh, you don't have to bring the body there. We we this can yep. be out of sequence if you want. Like. Sure. You don't have to have the body with you. Uh, you go back to Auntie Elderflower's hut. She sees you all kind of come in looking very serious-faced. Um, and she's like, I take it um, Auntie Flesh is dead. She, um, Her magic has been leaving the woods quite rapidly. Her infection. Yes, she is dead. Oh, that's Barely. good. That's so good. She was a terrible creature. I hope she didn't give you too much trouble. There's what? She gave me the clap. Oh, no, no, okay. that was Auntie Elderflower. You gave me the clap. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> um, I did promise you um, some things, didn't I? Um, questions answered. Uh, Lucian, you carry with yes. you a, a passenger, a soul latched onto your own. Uh, this doesn't happen very often. It can only happen between family, between a strong connection. Uh, there is a way, and unfortunately she cannot be resurrected while she's connected to you. She can't? No, they can't be resurrected, I'm afraid. But there is a way of separating you from from them, and you could be, once that's done, yes, resurrection could be achieved. How would this be done? Uh, there is an ancient temple, um, some distance from here, that uh, worshipped. They they were an order of monks that worshipped um, one self. It's it's all very confusing to me. It's a lot of weird monk stuff. But they understood how to separate oneself from one's body. Uh, the same prospect could be used to separate uh, the spirit from yourself. I'm going to attempt an insight check on this one. Okay. Because that sounds dodgy as fuck. <laughs> or not, in my case. That sounds pretty legit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it seems pretty legit. Like, it, it was sounds slightly dodgy because I wasn't sure how to put it, to word it. She basically tells you um, there was, like, an order of monks that worked a lot on, like, separating one spirit from oneself. And um, they they kind of found a ritual to do this, like, externally. Um, and they, they there's a way of doing it kind of hidden inside this old, uh, apparently abandoned temple. Although she suspects it's probably been filled with monsters since then, because it's an abandoned temple in a D&D setting. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> that kind of shit happens. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for that information. It's all right. And uh, once we've dealt with the the darkness, we can go there and you can hopefully extract this from you once and for all and bring it uh, bring it back into the world. Either let its spirit move on or maybe resurrect them. But until the spirit has been removed from you, resurrection is impossible. Very well. Uh, was there anything else? Yes. Um, you were interested Finch's in... Finch's children Finch's... and his wife. Yes. Uh, Finch had two daughters and a wife. Uh, one of the daughters, as I understand, is here in Vasselheim, which is lovely. Um, yes. The other has been apparently is the guest of a Fey Lord. And by guest, for Fey Lords, that means you're kind of not allowed to leave. This much I understand. Um, I don't know which Fey Lord it is, but the Bear King, um, one of the least of the Fey Lords, is having a great celebration in his city. Every year he takes on all challengers to see those who would try and, uh, try and supplant his power. A lot of Fey Lords will be there, and uh, I, that might be the best place to find out where she is. In the Fey Wilds. Very well. Uh, what is this uh, festivity? Uh, it is whenever Matthew has time to run the contract. Oh shit, sometime next year then. Oh. Pretty much. I know we're during the day. <laughs> I'm not salty. You're salty. Thank you. It's quite all right. You're welcome. And thank you for dealing with that terrible hag. Does anybody want any? Uh, you don't. You seem a little, little down on yourselves. If I, if we can be honest, Denks hardly touched all the friends' fancies. Oh, oh there was a lot of like fleshy, bloody stuff. And <laughs> yeah, you're I all mean, I, I was, I was drunk one night, and I kind of stumbled into the kitchen at the bar. And I saw Herc at work, and. Mm, Brought back some memories, so I'm not. Oh, oh actually, no, I went to the Feywild. These are all a wisdom save. Hang on. I don't know if we did go to the Feywild. Did we go to the Feywild? I don't know if it was Feywild or Material Plane heavily influenced by a Fey creature. Ooh. What What does the DM say? I have no idea. <laughs> it's your contract, Hack. You don't know if we went to the Feywild. <laughs> I, I've never done a contract with Denk. What? Well, no, it's it's, it's, it's the yeah. optional uh, Fey uh, rule. If like when you come back from the Fey Wild, um, you roll a wisdom save. Wisdom save yeah. if you oh, remember. You, you, you weren't remember. you weren't at the Fey Wild with uh, with uh, with the Blood Hag. All right. Yeah, that's that. That was the question. That was. Her. Ah. I I thought you were talking about something that happened in a different contract. Where oh like, no, yeah, I was, on about, I was on about. I had no things, idea. Things what you guys never remember the altercation into the Fey Wild. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, he's probably a bit quiet. No, we did go to the Feywild. Don't you remember it? Okay, well, Everybody everyone get out of my hut. <laughs> Have a good one. All right, bye. Dink, dink, we'll, as everybody else, he will take a tray of French fancies down with him and be like, yeah. cheers. I was going to show you my <laughs> eye in a jar, but I suppose if you're being all inhospitable, I'll show you next time. Toodles. Toodles. All right, you guys all head off. Uh, you head back to Vasselheim. Eventually, you cast Speak with Dead on uh, the cre the uh, the thingy, and yeah, when you do so, what are the questions that you ask it? And we'll start doing rewards what, while we're at it. What was your name before you died? Uh, he gives you the name of the potato farmer. I would like to inside check the dead body. Uh, sure. I mean, they can't. I don't think he can lie to you, can he? Or can he? Yes. They can lie. They can refuse to say things. Um, you. Uh, I don't know if they can lie. I know that they can withhold information. Let me. I think they that's... speak cryptically. Actually, no. And I think they can what I do. Lie. I cast speak with death. Then I just cast zone of truth. <laughs> Are both yeah. concentration spells? Uh, uh, no. Speak with death is not concentration. Just like a minute or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's ten minutes. It's just ten minute duration. So, I'll, yeah, I'll do that and I'll do Zone of Truth. He gives you the name of the potato name? farmer. Um, 
I ask him if he has ever killed anyone. Uh, he tells you no. Um, and if he has any children that he knows of. Uh, and he if so, where they are. Yes, he has. Um, he had three children um, back in his uh, his home city, which is the name of Blair. It's like in a completely um, different continent, the city he gives you the name of, but yeah. I'll ask him... Um, Would it happen to be a wild band, um city? Um, yeah. Wild Mount's a big continent. Yeah, it's a wild Mount city. Just I ask awkward. him... Um, uh, um... What else? Um... I, th I think we've already established that he's the potato farmer. I say, uh, what happened in the hours leading up to you, uh, to you being captured by the hag? Uh, I was working my fields, picking potatoes. Hag showed up, knocked me out, took me away. Apparently she'd used her magic to find the, an elf that looked just like her new captive. Um... And then I, the, the last last question I'll ask is um, do you serve any higher power? Ah, uh, she gives you the name. He gives you the name of the god of agriculture. Paylor. No. Perler. Perler. Who? Um, I would like to the Talarite right gods. Um, I would like to gather Lucian and anyone else who's interested, and I would like to attempt a resurrection ritual on this dead body. Okay. I will join in. So, we gotta do a resurrection ritual. Um, I suppose I'll join in as well. So, you don't have to if you do not want to. No, I want to, but kind of, I'm suspicious. So am I, but from what I can ascertain, he did not seem to be lying until he I cast Zone of Truth. Yeah. Did an inside check. <laughs> um, right, so you're going to hit the resurrection ritual. It's a, a flat D10 roll from me, and it goes a certain way. Uh, it goes, does anybody have anything they want to bring to the ritual to try and, like, for this this poor potato farmer? Well, basically, three people can help out. I, I think I have to make the, D10, uh, the D20 roll, right? I mean, uh, no, it doesn't really the, matter, the, but the I, GM, I would like to. Uh, it says the GM makes it in the thing, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know if it matters. It doesn't matter. It matters it just, that's what it game. says in the, the thing, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so the, the ritual kind of begins. Vlad, you know, begins his resurrection ritual. My brain's a little fried, so my description powers are breaking down a little bit. But you've got uh, you've got candles around you. The smell of incense is in the air. Um, you can feel the sort of from of Ayun's power. Um, I think the spell it's not really something you know until you start it, and then Ayun puts the the words within I, you. I would also knowledge. using commune before we do this. Ask Ayun again. Like, is this really the body of the potato farmer? I mean, like Ayun unfortunately doesn't know simply because right. he's been kept isolated for so long. I'll use a divination to see if anything dangerous happens if we resurrect him. Maybe. <laughs> there, there are only so many precautions you can take. <laughs> Maybe, it's you true. know. It's, yeah. it's... No, I'm, I, it's, it's totally fine. You, you're asking um, the same uh, yeah. god as well. You hold uh, I can ask a different god. I have, I, have, I have some other holy symbols, you know. But I, I, I actually, I'll ask, I'll ask... Oh, 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 oh. I'll do a commune. With a holy symbol of Paylor, and ask him if he recognizes this body as someone who has prayed to him previously. Uh, it wasn't uh, Paylor, the god of agriculture is different, but um, I think you can only commune with your own god as a cleric. Mm. Yeah. Like, you, you have I a connection with one god I don't know if, particular. like... Your, your deity, deity or divine yeah. proxy, yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. You, you've got to contact, you know, Ayun, effectively. 
what if I like multiple gods, all right? I'm polyamorous. Well, yes, but you, you're particularly connected to one. You know, the others true. respect your thing, but you don't have a yeah. direct line I, to them yeah, in the I'm, same way. It's, it's, to it's totally fair. Just bring it's... him back, and if he's yeah, I'll not bring a potato him farmer, we'll Where's kill him. Where's the rest dead? Uh. Um, I, didn't actually, I don't actually have it pre prepared, because I've never yeah. had to use it. Um... J just as a precaution, we'll tie, tie the hands of the body. <laughs> <laughs> tie his hands to his well. <sighs> uh, okay, so what do people we'll find bring... find, like, an empty warehouse to do it in or something like that. Right. What, what do of... people bring... <laughs> you've, you've made all the precautions. We'll just gloss yep. over that. All the necessary story precautions have been taken. Um, I dumped, like, a full gallon of holy water on his dead body. <laughs> great, fantastic. <laughs> Can we... A bunch of garlic and cases going... of vampire. Okay, so the session's oh. over. Uh, we'll just pick this up another time. Um, so I'm just having a look. Ultimate rich reels. So yeah, does anybody have anything they want to bring for this? Remember, if, if you don't do well, it can actually make the DC more difficult. Joe um, No one has... really has a particular connection with this potato farmer. Joe has a special uh, item which helps grow potatoes large and strong. And he wishes to offer that. Okay. It's an ogre penis. Uh, I imagine beforehand, uh, Dink just went out to a shop, purchased a hoe, and was like, I think I'm sorry. A prostitute. I'm <laughs> like, a, like an agricultural hoe, um, but I was hoping you'd do something with that, Joe. Uh, or Adam even. And... He'd just say to me, I'm sorry, I did what I had to do to try and protect my own, as I wasn't sure if you were something that could be potentially harmful to myself and my friends. I have been someone who has worked long and hard before, and I hope this can help you work hard and long to provide for your family in the future. You hear a spectral voice go phrasing... Um, yep, yep, yep. Joe, could you make a religion check for me? Uh, yeah, definitely. Actually, in religion. Uh, so you no, 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 religion is fine. Could you make a nature definitely check for religion. me? Um, oh, you... come on, man, you said religion. Uh, I'm That's just fine, reading the... Yeah, it's a nature check. As you... This will help things grow. 20? <sighs> One. Okay. Um, can I please get a persuasion check from Denk? Can do. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Uh, uh, Lucian is joining in, yes. Um, I would, I would, have, I would have asked you to. Yeah, yeah. Um, I basically just want to remind him that he has things to live for. He said he has children and possibly even grandchildren that he doesn't know, has never met. And if he doesn't come back, he probably never will meet them. He needs he needs to come back and reclaim his life that was cruelly taken from that from him by that hag. Could you roll a persuasion check for me? So Oof. That was awful for me. Okay. <laughs> um the DC is going to be uh it's going to be an 11. What? Wait, do we want higher so, or lower? Uh, it's better. What? It's lower. It's Every fail increases it by 1, and, and one. every success decreases it by 3. Okay, so, so it's a 9. Under the yeah. assumption that Denk failed. Also, oh, two Denk of them and right. Joe failed, because Joe offered God a penis. <laughs> hey! So DC was 25. It's about the... It's about the symbolism. <laughs> the symbolism was not appreciated <laughs> by God. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the, unfortunately the, the challenge for that was very yeah, high. Yeah, I, I, hey, 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 Matt, I think that's a bit judgy. There's plenty of gods that, uh, that like use... Like No, nope, you're, you're absolutely right. Stuff. There, there uh, would have been certain ones. Slanesh was there tools. going... Slanesh was like, you know what, I'm all for <laughs> no. this. Uh, Matt, but... a lot of older gods, a lot of older gods use, like, penises and also breasts and stuff as symbols of fertility and the growth and agriculture. But I own the god of knowledge. And librarian probably. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I disagree with this decision, but okay. Um, I don't know. I think Ian could be a horny librarian. 
Yeah, yeah I think, yeah. I mean, I think voice. could be, I think she is. She'd use it as a bookmark. Anyway, let's <laughs> carry on. So yeah, the... <laughs> she literally has a library of infinite smut. So mm. it's nine, um, is the number. Um, so we have to get higher than a nine. Uh, do you know what, Vladdy, you can roll? Yeah, because it's just a flat roll. Uh, Alright. Vladdy, Vladdy, Vladdy. So higher than a nine. Nope. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. There was not a map. Uh, yes. God. God didn't. <laughs> that that soul was uh, not coming back. That means we we also we can't try again, right? No. Yeah. The soul yeah. has. The soul I has get passed the feeling on. That even even if I'd offered her two dicks, it would have worked. I mean, oh. then then if you she's a horny librarian. If you offered her tentacles, maybe, but. Um, Testicles as well as the dick. Now she's asking too much. Um, so, it's it's the spirit doesn't re-enter the body. However, it's not entirely a. It fe- doesn't feel so much like a failure. It it feels more like he, he heard you. He there was like indecision in the spirit, and it chose to pass on. And it's. As much as he maybe wanted to see his kids again, once he's reached the afterlife, and you know, perhaps he, you get the feeling he has seen his kids. Like Ayun kind of imparts it on you, like he can see them from where he is now, and is at peace. He'd rather, whatever pain he's been through, it's it's time for it to end. But his spirit does uh, does pass on. That is all that we wanted to give him. Yeah, uh, a chance. Well, John's um, not here. I mean. Also, I mean, 200 years is a hell of a long time. I assume most of his family would have moved on. Yeah, you think that might have been so, part of it as well? He didn't want to disrupt their lives. Um, I, I, here's my call for the 12th that Matt rolled. Secretly, the two bodies were still connected and we accidentally revived the cultists. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> well, I, I do actually have, because, you know, that's the game there. This person's spirit moved on. There was like an after credits scene I effectively wanted to do. Like, none of you see this, none of your characters have acknowledged this, but we can see it. Uh, deep in an underground tomb, uh, dark figures stand around an altar, uh, muttering prayers. They've all only got a single eye as one has been carved out. They mutter their dark prayers and sort of look at each other and they go, ah, So shall we break for lunch? Or it's like, ah, a, a little more dark praying could go, couldn't go wrong. It's like, now, I think we should break for lunch. I mean, I'm sure Vecna wouldn't be bothered. I mean, just as they say that, a portal of blood opens up and a dead body with its head caved in flumps out, slams into the altar and rolls off. They go, so we, go we should keep praying. Yeah, we should definitely keep praying. And they get back to praying. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the magic was that once you made whatever decision you made, the bodies would be whoop, thrown out, but in different places. And one of them was there. Okay. I will, uh, I will bury the farmer's body, and I will use a uh, ceremony spell to make sure that he can't be brought back as an undead or anything. If I he... will, I will ride the cairn. As Dink is good at making those now. Yeah. Also, it'd be hilarious if that random vetna cult had a potato farmer randomly dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! <laughs> we resurrected your servant, oh great Ragnar! Like, Pontius I'm, I'm Claw, just, we have raised you. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just. Um, I'm Pontius this is Claw. Awkward. <laughs> I'm still playing, like, out, out the frying pan into the fire, isn't it? Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, and we shall replace your eyes with potatoes. No! Uh, Denk, you get an extra. You get an extra 200 experience points. Uh, Vladimir gets an extra 150. Uh, MVP goes to Lucian, getting an extra 120. And humor as normal goes to Uncle Joe for an extra 50. I think I think uh, Uncle Joe and Adam are a singular entity at this point. Yes, they are. They are <laughs> yeah. one. I think they started out as a singular entity. Um, <laughs> I'm well, racist. 